guys, oh, no. there's a serial killer in Austin. So if you're a gay dude in Austin, you ought to be careful. Watch out. No, motherfucker. I'm saying you're cutting <laughs> weight to make 80cc. And no, you're... I'm talking about how, if you do it differently for 135, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry, Jay, Nikki, Damien, and all our guests and all our viewers. You know, sometimes I feel like I have something really important to say and I can't contain my enjoyment and enthusiasm <laughs> to share it with everybody, like as their mid-sentence, for example. So I saw some comments. I don't know if I, I'll just repeat the whole thing. I saw a comment that was like, take a shot every time Ethan uh, interrupts a conversation, uh, stuff like that. So first of all, at first it really hurt my feelings. And then, you know, I took a second, went for a walk, I stared at the sky, <laughs> one single tear streamed down my face. And then I was like, I'm going to keep doing it because <laughs> it's entertaining. We, our last podcast, you, you missed it, but uh, we had a guy like in room. We had a guy talking about some history, right? He was like, how the Who world, was that guy? Who was he? Uh, Mike Carter would like radio, radio personality. Podcaster, oh, cool. 20 years of radio. And well, was, uh, yeah, really, intelligent dude. Intelligent, really uh, well-known guy. In the, Recovered in the drug addict, like heavy crack cocaine. Yeah. Is that something to, to be like? Noted, well, most like, people that don't recover. like, hey, he's proud of it. He's proud of well, I think having life, recovered. I think it's from just it. life experiences. Okay, uh, yeah, that's so like, crazy. But anyway, um, he was uh, he was talking about telling us like how the World War One got started, and essentially it was like, oh yeah, he was <laughs> he was like saying how this one specific moment and this guy like this uh, guy walking past the wrong person, uh, Ferdinand. And, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, walk past everyone knows this. Yeah, Franz, yeah. Franz Ferdinand, yeah, he, like shot know. shot the guy in the head yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But Good like as he, <laughs> as he's des he's like setting up the description, he's like, yeah, the guy like turns over, and notices this guy walking past, and Ethan's like, and he shot him in the head. And he's like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, for like some part of my brain was like, oh, you know, I this know story. This. I know this. <laughs> Blur blurt it out quick. <laughs> there was a proof that you know it with the Jordan Syatt. Uh, sometime during the Jordan Syatt. Oh yeah. Podcast. I was Man, like, fuck Ethan, you. if you continue to cut Jordan off, I'm going to take this pen and shove it through your head. <laughs> and he was like, wow, okay, I'm offended. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, wow, have I been doing that? I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Nikki, uh, Nikki tells us that we, uh, we cut him off quite a bit. But I kind of do that as like a, like on purpose. As I like a know, joke. especially after he said it, I'm like, I do do it. And now that I know it gets to him, I'm going to keep doing it. Well, I don't cut him off uh, in the sense that, like, he's telling a story and then I finish his story or something. like like, Or you have your idea. I, I will literally be like, Rah! like, whatever, oh, in, the, wow. in the middle <laughs> of his story. And he's like, fuck you. Yeah. That's like, why I don't hang out with you guys. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's, so that gets to Nikki. I'll think of a, a really good joke about something he's trying to be serious about. And I'll be like, where the fuck is Damien? So I could make <laughs> a simple man joke. And that gets to him, Dude, I think. I yeah. remember, um, I don't think it was during B team. I think you, you were gone. Me? Yeah. It was, I think it was at Henzo's. You were gone or something. Or maybe actually it must have been B team. Actually, it must have been when you had your ACL surgery. Uh -huh. And I was like, I don't have. Uh, Where's the, my friend? I was like, I don't have the, the same. <laughs> Same comedy with these other guys. Like, uh, I need some. Nobody's going to appreciate this comedic goal. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, where's Ethan to appreciate me yeah. making it's a you, stupid it's, noise? It's you. Liam is, is another yeah, one. Yeah, Peo. Peo's on there. I can make dumbass jokes with you. I can make dumbass jokes with you. Nikki, Ro Nikki Rod's yeah. close, close there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the most simple man is tied between you and Liam, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, or the, the most the simple man. The, the stupid yeah. comedy? Yeah. The, 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 actually, it's actually the highest intellect. It is. It's like gone full circle. It's so intelligent that it, like, interdimensional space traveled down <laughs> to just pure, sheer stupidity. It's definitely on a spectrum. Yes. S specific how's, spectrum. How's Liam's uh, recovery? Man, Liam's good. Liam's good. He no, just started... You just told me that he was doing horrible. He has hives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like yeah. breaking out in bed sores or he something. Took a, he took a little uh, uh, rebound there. Or uh, not a rebound, but opposite of a rebound. Uh, Fall? Setback. 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 Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he got some allergic reaction, but I, I don't know what it was to. Anyway, he's fine now. And uh, he's back. Yeah, he's he's not training, obviously. He's uh, two months 
post operation. He's Seven biking. Ago. Ah, less than he's five. Biking? He's biking, like mountain biking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing <laughs> jump. He's stationary biking <laughs> okay, with stationary. a helmet and a seatbelt yeah, and airbags. Is definitely important. Yeah. Dude, uh, our buddy. Sorry, actually, you go. I'm Cut not going to start. Off. I'm not going to start cutting off. Look at this. Thing. See, everyone does it. No, no, no. But go on. No, I don't want. Okay. Okay. No. Well, so then, Gordon. <laughs> no, Gumbel, no, no, uh, no, no, no. Liam, just he's good. Give him a follow. He's running our TikTok. I hope he's still posting. How is our TikTok doing? I don't know. I I, I don't go we'll on TikTok because I won't let the CCP get access to my to my data. Dude, what's the PCP? Fucking place is, is getting your information. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'd much rather an American company do that versus uh, you're, China. You're Asian. It's the same thing. I'm not Chinese. Like they're taking your information. No, no, account. it doesn't matter. But now the 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 CCP <laughs> can use that against. Like the U.S., the CCP, the they China, China literally us, says they want to become the world power. But I think, I think it was 2033 or 2030. We will fuck them up. Um, I'll go, I'll go there and fight them. I won't go there for like. I won't. How many Chinese <laughs> Chinamen do you think it takes? Come, come here and fight I'm me. I'm going to Canada, bro. I'm <laughs> running. Um, going yeah, I mean, they genuinely want to be a world power. I forget when in 2030, like 2033, 2035, 2030. There was a, I forget what the announcement was, but they genuinely said to their people they want to be. Like the world power. Who do you think wins in a fight? In a fist fight? Yeah. Me. The, who's or, who's or, the president of or prime minister of China right now? Dude, no, everybody's using uh, Biden. He's gonna Jiang? Be, he fell off a bike. Biden? No. Tr- okay, let's go Trump. Let's put. I fell off a bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. <laughs> you flew off a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Who? It's Zhang. What's his name? Zhang. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Zhang. You know what he looks John like? Wei-Lin. John Wei. Wow. Shit. Wow. Really? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> We're, not good. We're not doing so well. All right, who who wins in a fight? Putin, Trump, or them? Like in a round robin? Oh, dude, Putin. To be Putin's honest, gotta... yeah. Putin, but doesn't he have Putin. cancer or something? Isn't he like yeah, Xi, Xi Jinping? Xi Jinping. Oh, you were Xi close, Jinping. yeah. Zhang. I think I said Zhang. Xi Jinping. Man, but, there's um, so many jokes to be made, but I will not. No, I think uh, I think fucking them. I think uh, Putin did like judo or some shit. He did, yeah. Like if he, if he did a grappling martial art, he's gonna win against yeah. fucking. Didn't Trump, Trump do some? Something? He does some grabbing. Grabbing? Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, grabbing ass, grabbing pussy. Does the pull? All right. Well, I guess we don't know. Is the answer to that? Elon Musk did uh did challenge Putin oh, yeah, to did. an oh, MMA yeah. fight back uh-huh. in the day. I think Elon would lose, but it would be uh, sick. Putin? Elon's quite bigger, though. Um, I'm not sure. Are they? Or you think Is he it? could, like... Yeah, I think Elon's bigger. He's got, like, uh, a big, fat, you think, barrel you chest. You think Elon's going to fucking no, beat a I grappler? Think he, think he loses, I think so. yeah. yeah. I think he loses. Dude, Elon bought Twitter, right? And then fired 80% of his uh of Is his Twitter staff. failing? No, no, no. I think it's doing do well. Do you guys I use mean, Twitter? I don't do no. I don't, I, don't I don't use Twitter, but apparently it's, like, the biggest social media platform behind TikTok. Really? Yeah, yeah it's, it's huge. I'd rather post pictures than like my opinion. Then just you words. Can post yeah, pictures like, on, on. Yeah, I'm not on Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter no, since high school. I think you can t- post pictures. You can, you can. Really? But I think it is dying. I don't. Who wrote monogamy helps the peto, potato smell percent? Let me see. What I, the I hell does know. that who, who, say? Who huh? It must have been your guy. Bobby. Oh, I Bobby. think Bobby. Yeah. Oh, probably talking about Dalai Lama or something. Something he's like the Dalai Lama is not a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying so hard to defend him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Guys, real quick, the <clears throat> mugs—they're so good. They <laughs> they keep a drink oh, warm. There's nothing in here. They, <laughs> mm, they keep it cold. They keep it whatever temperature it was when you put it in there. You could smack someone over the head with it. <laughs> you can defend. It's really so versatile, and uh, you know, them. there's us three on it here. We're gonna add another one. This for is gonna. Jay. This is actually us in the future <laughs> when yeah. we're so poor by dishing money into the podcast that we can't afford food. Yeah, this is, <laughs> is we, this what you want we, from us to become? We are now negotiating a new deal with our videographer, which requires us to pay him more. So we need to sell more of these yeah. to be able to put allow like him to do bags this. of money on the next one. So people think, Oh, let's do a raffle. Uh, one of these will be, <laughs> we'll have, we only $100 have dollars attached to them. So <laughs> buy it. Maybe you'll get it. Maybe you'll get Is that real? Like, or we have to do this now. If he's... <laughs> hey, we'll yeah. I'm gonna ask, can I bar- hey, Jim, can I borrow $100 for yeah. this link so then we can eventually pay you? <laughs> we just released, so today, by the time this airs, we just released the One Chip Challenge video. So a month, 
five weeks ago. Five, five weeks, weeks ago. ago. Dude. And Mr. Nicky Rod. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let me reenact this for you guys. This is going to air now. Go back to that episode and watch. He's writing something out. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hate Ethan. Kick yeah. him off. The <laughs> Let's make a vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, we all unwrap the chip and we're like, oh, it smells bad, blah, blah, blah. And there's a bunch of stuff and there's like, Nicky Rod has like an, a thing here, Dude, a thing there. He's like there's a, a little uh, cavern of material. There's like water bottles. A set blockade. Up. Yeah, blockade. <laughs> a fucking moat over there. All right. And he's like, he's like, we're all like, okay, one, two, three. And me and Damien are like, we fucking eat it. Nicky Rod's like, <laughs> <laughs> dude. And then right away he goes, you eat the whole thing? <laughs> Thinking back, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I didn't answer. I'm like, yeah, obviously. Yeah, both of us, both of us were like, yeah, yeah. Of, of course, course. That's the whole thing. I thought he was just making sure because yeah. he also ate that's the whole <laughs> But no. <laughs> and he says in the most suspicious way, he's like, you, you eat the whole thing? <laughs> You or me go like, uh huh, yeah, and he's like, oh, fuck, all right. Oh, wow. You eat the whole thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, he wasn't like, same, same, same. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then, and then you immediately puke up the. Dude, it turns out he ate like one third of the fucking <laughs> chip. I ate, I ate two thirds. <laughs> I don't know, Three man. Three quarters. Three quarters, three quarters. Bro, he fucking, you were, you were the worst one though. Bro, I ate three quarters. Work. So much work put into this fucking Just grape. Peel the grape. And, and I realized that you, your ass, you said that. Wow. I peeled it perfectly. He just wow. pooped, pooped it out. You you peeled that. <laughs> I, I peeled, peeled that grape perfectly. I did. And I'm, why you dropped it? Why don't you I eat it? Fell. Well, I wouldn't say perfectly. Oh uh, uh, yeah. But I was working on it. But anyways, yeah. bro, you said you had that lollipop in your mouth for thirty seconds. I watched you take it out after five seconds. I, I put it in. <laughs> like he was like, no, like <laughs> them were like, let's get Damien and Ethan <laughs> to get fucked up, and they're like, no, I'm gonna Dude, puke. I can't do this. There's a there's. I'm looking at the video. Jay's like. Yeah. <laughs> and then he puts it down, and then he just. Yeah. I was gonna throw up. It, fuck. I'm done even it. Every it's night. Fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's, it's like, it's dude, I got so nauseous, bro. It He's was, like, I was gonna die. It was disgusting. I'm sure it, it was. was. I'm sure, sure it was. It wasn't good. It was like cinnamony fucking, but not in a good, in the worst <sighs> way, fuck, like burnt fucking cinnamon. We have to have you do the, the one chip challenge. I'll do a bunch of you guys. You guys do a bunch do of again. We did it. We did I it. am not yeah. ever no. Bro, my loins. No. Bro, I, my internals. My loins. My loins. I think I could do the the the, the Satan toe. I don't think so. I think that's it's longer it's in your mouth. No, like you, no, that challenge is only five minutes. It's yeah, five but minutes to keep that of, in your mouth for five minutes, like you it didn't keep disgusting. the chip in your mouth for five minutes. It burned it my gross, mouth for five minutes. So what are you gross, talking man. about? I kept it in my for an hour. Okay, or so you think, actually, you guys think... You guys the one chip challenge chip is, is harder than the fucking lollipop. No, I think the one chip challenge is harder because you don't... It's it's here that it burns. Your mouth burning... Inside. It is. Your it's heart. inside. It's your soul. Like, you can eat it, swallow it, and the mouth spice kind of went away. Wait, but eight minutes in. That, eight, eight minutes in. But that, for five minutes, you're getting mouth burning. Yeah. So what's was, harder? Was, How long did it burn for when you took it out, though? Did it, uh, it, it kind of go after away the seven it, seconds? It burned of, for. Yeah. I didn't have it, on, it in very long, but it it burned, but it was really just like disgusting. It was really disgusting, bro. The chip is worse. That's the whole thing. I think the chip's worse. The but chip went viral it, for like, being so yeah. bad. It is the hot. Oh, here, Carolina yeah, Reaper the, is the hottest pepper. In is the that world. what they used? That to... is what. That's the one chip challenge. Is the hottest pepper. It used to be the Boot Jolakia, the ghost pepper. Now the Carolina Reaper is the. Why do you hottest. know so much about this? I used to watch actually. Uh, Not one, see Joe. No, there's Spicy this one Joe. guy actually that that I used to eat that the fucking ass. peppers. I don't know why. <laughs> there's a, there's a pepper the boot Jolakia. His name's Joe or something. Spicy Joe. I don't know. Carolina. Tony Reaper. Hawk did it. He, I, Tony, I, Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk, Hawk is a fucking dog. Sheesh. I thought he was, but they drank milk after five minutes. I don't. It's still. Not, it's still bro. Bro. I don't think the milk would help that much, bro. Yeah. I don't think that makes that Tony much Hawk difference. and and then um, who else did, did good? To be that stoic, David, David Blaine. I yeah, was pretty stoic for sure. I think. I Did you watch it? I was, like, <laughs> I was more stoic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you just kept rhyming. You just we were asking a question. You're like, 
I'm the greatest there ever was. Nigga, wrong. Yeah, you went like, turns black, like a black preacher. preacher. Yeah. yeah. Don't ever fucking oh. make a racist. Guys, oh, there's no. a serial killer in Austin. So if you're a gay dude in Austin, you ought to be careful. Watch out. Don't they're, go They're near, killing gay dudes. Yeah. Don't go near, dudes. Uh, where is it? Is it eight, eight people now? Lady Bird Lake. I think eight gay Lady dudes. Lady Bird Lake, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna I think go it's like a, a Ted Bundy type of guy. We're, we're going to scout go him. We're going to well, hunt him. It's more like a Jeffrey Dahmer guy. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, guys, sorry, right? sorry. I think yeah, it'd yeah, definitely be a sick YouTube video. Us, We have like somebody dressed up as the serial killer in like some BT merch, maybe the Keep Jiu-Jitsu Gay shirt. And then we just have him like a... It's a scavenger hunt. He's like leaves like five clues. We have to go around the city, find them. And you see what Craig said them. in the group chat? No. He said we should basically just be chasing John. <laughs> <laughs> we should just be stalking John. <laughs> we get a guy. We get like you uh, said this on a podcast. Whoa! Oh no! No one watches this. We're famous. <laughs> We're famous guys. Massive supplements. Buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Sports podcast. Just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code SIMPLEMAN, all caps, for 15% off both of those companies. Massive Supplements, trademarked, smashing greens, smashing reds, very nutrient-dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t-shirts, rash guards, you name it, owned by... Former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, you simple man, to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements. Get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. Yeah. You guys all, you don't drink coffee, huh? And you're back to training. I am back to training. That's more important. I cleared myself. Can you pass a uh, coffee, please? I medically cleared myself. Medically, um, medically cleared, myself. cleared yourself, yes. huh? Yep. Interesting. Um... Yeah, it's past past three months now, and I was training for like maybe a week ago. I started training lightly, um, but yeah, I feel good. Mobility and strength is almost like back to a hundred percent. Are you still scapular winging? Not as yeah. bad as it used to be. I can I can control it, but before I I literally could it was not. Just dead back there. It was my brain was just not connecting to my fucking back. It was it was really bad. That's but strange. Doctor Bob. Strange. Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob hooked you up. Um, yes. Spinal rehab, spinal sports rehab. medicine, uh, I think in uh, Westlake, some part of Austin, something yeah. like that. He mm. is a magician. <clears throat> yeah, I <clears throat> I think I was, like, good to go. I had ACL and a small meniscectomy. I, I was, you had like, a meniscectomy? A small, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. like uh, some percentage, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, once you kind of – once you feel like you're good, you're – Yeah, I mean, but, you know, but like, they say bones uh, – Heal heals stronger. Six six to eight weeks it takes a uh, bone to fully heal. Yeah, tendons and ligaments are and fucking uh, yeah, right? ligaments and shit. It's yeah, whole different. How how long has it been? Game. It's been three three months. Okay, twelve weeks. So. Yeah, yeah, no. What's the most you guys have gone without training? Like you've had to not train no. this time. Yeah. So six to eight weeks. Uh, or eight well, weeks. No, no, I've I've been off off the mats for like three months. Oh so wow, twelve okay. months. Yeah. Or twelve weeks. Twelve weeks. Three months for me too. Yeah. Three months. Yeah, for me, three, three or four months. I also took like yours was longest, huh? Yeah, I'm like s- five, six, I think at least. You came Maybe back six. early. No, nah, I mean I was like I was your like, bicep. Yeah, did. I was like yeah, four you months. You came back early. I, I mean, a little earlier than I should. And I think, and I definitely, <laughs> That's fine. I definitely regret it because I, I had to sacrifice some technique for yeah. my injury. And if I could go back, I would have just like. Yeah, waited properly. because I felt like I had to I had to relearn like I had to work out those bad habits and then relearn the, the things that yeah. were, I was doing correctly. Mm. I did something today, uh, like mid scramble, and I was like, "Why did I just do that?" It's like I completely forgot. As in forgot bad how or fucking, not bad, but your it's timing's just like, off. Timing's well, off. Well, timing definitely is always going to feel yeah. worse. Yeah. That's the, probably the first thing I feel like um, when you come back, other than cardio, is like the timing. Yeah. You lose that timing. Yeah. It's, it's, timing had, uh, comes back the fastest, but it feels the weirdest. You're like, yes. it's like, like you, you're like ugly. clunky and like rusted. Yeah, yeah. The other, yeah. Like, I had uh, I had standing rear body lock. And against who? Uh, the kid in the all-white rash guard. Oh, oh yeah. Aussie kid. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, he, he just dislocated someone else's shoulder. Oh, really? Oh, dude, I like saw it. Well, I, well, I, I wasn't really his oh, the, the guy that was... Uh, yeah, shit. Shit. Did that guy have a knee brace? That's fucked. Knee brace on his like left knee? Is that the same guy or right like knee? That. I don't know. Yes. Knee brace? Okay, okay, I tried to think. He's good, he's good, yeah, yeah. He, he went to do a... Uh, Bro, he tried to... Uh, sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, he fucking... Comment if you get pissed off by this He started attacking a buggy on me. I took him down. He started attacking a buggy. I started defending the buggy. He fucking tries to lock up the darts and yeah. i was like not this fucking shit yeah, yeah i got out yeah, and stuff yeah. like that it was yeah. fine everything was good yeah right. shout uh, out officer yeah, grimy but, um, he's good he's good at the buggy yeah yeah, yeah. I, the the buggy to the darts transition though i was like good. i meant to fucking figure out how to stop that because i i don't really know what's going yeah, on yet there it's uh impossible i totally to forgot defend. about that. yeah impossible to be <sighs> i don't think you ever got me with that um the buggy choke no 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 you got you got no you haven't buggied me you darsed me darsed me before not you never buggy damien not buggy. Don't know, we don't roll too often. He's scared. It's because he can't uh, pass his guard, I'm, so you never get buggy. You think you have better technique I, than... I pass his guard. I have better I technique. Uh, I'm asking Damien, do you think you have better technique than uh, J-Rod? I'd say yeah, so. I I think very so. different styles. Though. Different yep. styles, for very sure. Do you think you're better looking than J-Rod? Do you think... I think, I think J-Rod is <laughs> the uglier think? Rodriguez brother. No. J Rod's the, ugly one. <laughs> the uglier one. It's our, uh, may, on. I don't have better looks than him. Come on, I'm better than J Rod. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, yeah, my blood ain't nothing in my blood ugly. This guy's uh, the cholesterol. <laughs> man, man dime, man dime. Man dime, man dime. Okay. We and are, Damien's are, like a nickel. Wow. Oh, I had standing rear body lock, and this, <laughs> this guy forward rolls, and I tried to like standing hunker, hunker oh. down and like. Tripod, not tripod, but like I almost slammed my forehead on the mat. You just like, <laughs> you like didn't let go. I, like, like, yeah, I, I can like, stop this force with my neck. neck. Yeah. I ended up like forward rolling with him, but I was like almost, almost slammed my head on Fuck, the on man. the mat. I was like, why did I do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second, yeah. you were like, I'm gonna end my life right yeah. now. Roll. Yeah. I'm like, this yeah. is worth it. I'm yeah. taking the back. <laughs> I still took the back. Uh, yeah, that's how Braulio are not exactly like that, but he put they. Uh, He's doing some MMA, MMA round. You know what I'm talking about? He, uh, some guy hit like a Gramby? butt drag on him. No, he, he had like a f- hit a butt for- drag. What's a, a butt forward drag? body lock, and the guy kind of like turned the circle. There, a forward, Tur- a front body lock. I had like a bo- yeah, like a double. He came up to Braulio's, or Braulio came up to the body, and the guy shucked him forward. And he like dove his head head first into like the corner of the cage and mat. So Braulio's neck went like. That yeah, uh, couldn't uh, feel his legs or some shit. Oh, what? Story. Yeah, he went. Fuck. He, I, he went I mean, he went, is it a fight? Is it a fight? No, you, MMA training in a gym or but something. He's but he's fine now. Huh? He's all right now. But yeah, he went through like a crazy. It's crazy how close we are every day to just being a paraplegic. Death. Yeah, it's quite alarming. Yeah, you gotta be careful. What uh? What's what's this guy's name? Brolio. You know Brolio? Brolio no. Estima. You don't know who that is. No, Estima Lock was uh, <clears> the guy from. You huh? you know who who Braulio is? I'm pretty sure I met him. He's a, he announced first ADCC. Yeah, 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 that guy. Yeah, I wasn't there for that. He the, won. You trained with him in Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, he used to be the shit back in the day. <laughs> yeah, what did you say? I, I wasn't there for Puerto Rico. I was no there before first way so before he was before, like, uh, yeah, was, okay. was before we all ago. lived there. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, it was quite strong, but that's crazy. You guys just never heard of him. No, that's no. He don't. He it don't sounds like Broly, though. Bra- yeah, Broly. it's. I've always thought that the first time Broly. I heard this name, I'm like, oh, that's a cool fucking name. Yeah, Broly. You know who that is? Yeah, yeah. the yeah. legendary Broly. Super oh, Saiyan. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I bought the movie. Shit. Yeah, I, I bought the it. DVD. That's cool. Yes. You're supporting. I bought it. I was. I'm watching this. DVD is a, a dying. Uh, a dying product. art. Yeah. Yes, yes. You put it in a PlayStation. You're good to go. <laughs> Some guy. We were at the comedy mothership last night. Some guys like. Uh, I look like the kind of guy who jerks off to vinyl, like on you to you, to me. Well, like no, he said that to you. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, that oh. would have been great if you said oh. that. To me. <laughs> no, I was too far back to get uh, roasted. roasted. I would love that, but uh, no, he just I said it about himself. I don't want to get roasted by really? a professional comedian. I would love it. You're no, just you're no, in the no, crowd. No. He's just like roasting you. You're just you're everyone's laughing. laughing at you. No, no they're I'll laughing laugh at other it. people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would like that if the guy picks you out in the crowd. Ah. Uh... It would be a funny thing after the fact, but I feel like in the moment I would be like, "Oh, All right, yeah. I can't yeah. truly laugh." <laughs> yeah, laugh at Maybe. Maybe I can laugh at myself, but I don't want everyone else laughing at me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all laughing at you now. Uh, good point. <laughs> Sadness, <laughs> despair. No, I, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how I would take it. I think now that I would 
find it entertaining, I can laugh, but... I can laugh at myself with you guys, yeah, whatever. Yeah. These yeah. random people that I don't really respect to be like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. You want to fight? You want to fight? You love it? You fight someone next? <laughs> Go crazy. No, it was cool. That's uh, first time I've been there. You, have, you guys been there yet? The Mothership? No, I, look, I want to, though. Been there once. Dude, were you guys in yeah. the VIP? Or, uh, no, we weren't very important enough. Yeah, we were... Uh, First time I went there, we were in the VIP fucking balcony. It was sick, man. With who? It's dope. With uh, whom? It was like uh, Nikki, me, Mariella, Diana, Taylor Biagi, Sal. Taylor Biagi. Taylor Biagi is uh, Diana's friend. That's where I actually just taught a seminar at in Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you um, back yeah. these weekends now or what? I'm back now. No more seminars? Um, Not until the summer. Not until the summer, yeah. Your your competition is is confirmed. No contract signed, but pretty much confirmed. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna your be match? fighting Gabe Souza. Yeah, oh, looks like I'm fighting Gabe Souza. Gabe Souza. Not W no Grapple Fest in the UK. Okay, Ooh. Well, I mean it. It's only confirmed. I mean the match is like pretty much set. No contract signed, but like if I can make money teaching seminars out there, then I'll do it. Yeah. The match will have probably already happened by the time this airs. Yeah. No, 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 no. Five weeks. When is it? Oh, I five. thought it was the beginning of July. The... Ah, never mind. Yeah, July it's supposed to be in. I don't know what month it is right now. I don't know it's what year it is. April. Um, yeah, yeah, so cool. ADC, get to fight an ADCC silver medalist, get to show that I am a world-class athlete, and then, I don't know, I, what it, what happens if I just, like, heal like them real quick? Do I need to do trials? Probably not. The age-old He's question. He's a fucking silver medalist. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, I'll still do trials either way. You think you have to do trials? I mean, I... Would think so, but again, I'm like with in the same boat as you. Like, if I could beat a notable guy, maybe I could argue for an invite. But again, I'm gonna also agree with you that like I probably am gonna do them regardless. Yeah, just I mean, it just unless you know I like beat a guy and then I I get a like a message saying like you're, okay you're in yes don't yes. do trials because then it takes it from another guy. Yeah. Hey, what about you? Do what you about what do you guys think for Jay? I, I'm I'm very confused. With with Jay because I, I would want you to get an invite. Do you think you have to do trials again? Uh, I have this um, this thought in my head every single day. Um, every day. Every day. <clears throat> but I think I've just come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to kill Nicky Ryan at trials. You're not you fighting in the same eighty eight. I, I might go seventy seven. You go seventy seven. What? What do you walk around? Dude, you're now? better at eighty eight. I think. It. Fucking like I could smash the guy that placed a third at trials. Yeah, but you need to be the one that won. You don't. You need to be able to be and find a way class that like you can win ADCC, ago. not just trials. I, I think you have a better style to win ADCC eighty eight. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think you do seventy seven. Yeah. Do seventy seven. Bunch of juice. Really, monkeys, really. Bunch of juice monkeys. My problem is strength. My problem is strength. But Everyone is stronger problem? than me. Everyone is more exposed. But you think? You think? It is actually. Issue. I don't know. It I don't is know. an issue. Everyone's here, here. bigger than me. Everyone Everyone has 15 is pounds. On you're right. You're right. Steroids. Everyone's cut. But you have a good style. No. You have a good Lift style weights. against big guys. But now here, let me ask you: How do you think your right now your technique lines up with Cater Tolo, Mika Galval? Um, you know how? I, that, I don't know. I don't think a harder weight class. It is. It's yeah. 66 or 77 are the toughest weight classes. It's yes, starting to be is, is the also class. or sixty six. Uh, look, look, look. Nah, if you nah, nah. if you go back to eighty eight, next time like <clears throat> next uh, ADCC, mm-hmm. it'll be harder to win than the last one because it's a it's yeah. getting bigger. It's getting and bigger. bigger. And it's two years, dude. After and these now. younger kids are now getting man strength. That's, that's what's scary. That's, that's so that's Everyone's what's happening here. to you as well. Like by the time ADCC rolls around, you're no no no. Yeah, no. you're gonna be much. I'm gonna be that. fighting Bruh. men on steroids. It's not fair. I like that. Yeah, is, he's been doing everyone it. Everyone has 15 pounds. Oh, yeah, pounds your brother's been doing it just fine. Yeah. As far as we know. That's heavyweight, though. That's heavyweight. That's even more. Than, that's more steroids. Than but they're, no, they're no, less no. technique, though. I agree. It's less technique. Because now, it's 88, less. you have guys that would be competing in 77, so they're technical, but now they're on steroids. They just juice so it's up to 88. It's, so it's tough. I feel like there's more natural athletes at 77 than 88. What do you uh, what do you wake up? I think guys are still on juice. No, they're definitely still on juice. But I feel like there's more. Juice monkeys at 88 than compared to 77. It's hard to say. I think they're. I think all, all the guys. I think at 66 the guys are on steroids. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think like all these for guys sure. are on steroids. But I think I think there's more natural. Colabate is going to be doing 77 too. Really? Yeah, he's, he Bigger. says uh, no longer 66. He can't do the cut. There you go. Yeah. What so, you think? <clears throat> that's another one on the on the on the list. What for you? Of gear. Um, 
Are we? Are you naming? <laughs> are you naming? Are we just gonna now just name these guys? <laughs> are you naming I mean, seventy-seven juicers? 77. Oh, are we? I don't, is that what you were doing? That's what you were doing. I mean, oh, is he? Like, that's what that, you said, <laughs> you he? said, that's another one on the list. Yeah, he <laughs> I is. was like, oh, there's is a list. Not? Me and Nicky Rod were like, mm. is he natural? <laughs> is a I, I, I have, I can know their, I don't know. I can, I can no <laughs> I can longer, know. I can nor confirm I nor no longer deny. That's what he was trying to say. I don't know. We need fucking 77. Do you have, do you, <laughs> do you have trouble cutting to 77? No, that's easy. What do you wake up at now? He's at 185. I was at 184. That's um, it's a normal cool. cut for you. But yeah. I usually walk around at like 180, 185 when I'm like in good shape. Yeah. So fucking like 10 pounds, super easy. That's it, it, that's your actual weight class. That's what you should yeah, be competing yeah, I really am dreading cutting to 66 yeah, again. What? Atrocious. Dude, I'm going to have to cut to 135, bro. Uh, yeah, you're Consistently. Yeah, good luck. Consistently. That's insane. But you don't want to go up? I'll I'll do 145 for the, my first few MMA fights, but I have to fight Patchy Patchy Mix. Right, just won a million dollars. Congratulations! This is about he won, he won, he won. Oh, he won, dude! First round KO, knee to the dome. Oh my god, bro, crazy! Patchy, a million dollars. Yeah, who did he beat? Any, uh, uh, Rafael on Stats. He was like the the um kind of champ uh, at that weight class. I think it's like an interim champ. Fuck, but are they fighting? Crazy. Yeah, All right, yeah, you called it. Nuts. There you go, right? So um, yeah, yeah. I mean. Honestly, one of the best grapplers I've one of one of the best MMA fighters th that has grappling. Like it's fucking just amazing. World class grappling. He, what, what weight is this? One thirty five. Oh. But when I uh, they're big at one thirty. Circling back, yeah, you can't do one. He's bigger than me. He's not. bigger than me. Yeah. And wow. the thing is, so he was cutting weight, and he was two weeks out before his fight that I that I uh, when we trained together. I was like, "What do you walk around at?" He's like, "One fifty eight. He was at 158 two weeks before. So what does he walk around normally? Like 165, 168. God. I'm at 160 right now. Holy And I'm like, I can't. 35 pounds, man. Dude, I can't. Wow. Like, those guys are fucking big, man. That's those a guys crazy are big. cut. Yep. And so it's like, I just can't do 145. Think about, if I were to fight 145, Bro. that's Volkanovski. All the guys yeah, there are just, like, they're enormous. It's crazy how they just cut like that as a skill. Like they get good at it, probably. Yeah. They definitely get good at it yeah. for sure. And maybe you'll get better at it. Maybe you'll like figure. it I out. I mean, I'm gonna use like a professional when I start doing 135. Like I'm hiring a professional for like nutrition and as well as how to do the weight cut properly. How much, how much water weight do you think you're gonna be able to drop? You're like, supposed to only. Before, right? You're not supposed to go over 10. percent Is so that like, what Patchy does? Is that what everyone does? That's uh the like standard 10%. the standard. Yeah, it's like you're so like. You can you can lose ten percent, so it's about fifteen pounds. Like for me, if I start water? off of water, if I start at one fifty, so I can, I have to get my body weight down to one fifty <sighs> or lower, and then it's then you're in uh you're in shooting range for one thirty five. Yeah. So my physical body weight prior to cutting water has to get below that uh, one fifty mark. Fuck. Okay, that's actually that sounds doable when you put it like that. Yes, you, that sounds with. Now the thing is, the actual water cut is hell. Yeah, it's like it's not fun. But that's like a one day thing. Like you water load, sure, and then the the water cut, like. Eh. That's I'm 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 genuinely kind of nervous for it. like thinking about like how you feel because like for eighty cc I mean it was easy but it sucked I don't like it, it. sucked it's like yeah. it's not you fun. Um, I did uh water. sauna, I did uh, uh sauna like portable sauna portable sauna oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah yeah and that wasn't fun man yeah. I did it I did yeah. it. <sighs> A bit at night, and then I had to go in the morning to fucking. Was he eating cookies in front of you and Nicky Ryan? Yeah, I was getting that. people to fucking like. I needed like watermelon, so I had like one watermelon yeah. and then like an ice cube, and I was like, "Fuck, this sucks." And it's like to think about that's to get to one forty-five. I'd have to lose another ten pounds on top of that. Yeah. Well, it's different because you have to weigh in twice, and also you can. It is day before, well, but it's like, dude, think about getting that to one forty-five and being like, okay, now ten more pounds. Like that's not. A good feeling. Nope. That's, that's not a good horrible. feeling. But you actually, you get to 150, and then it's 15 more pounds, right? No, motherfucker. I'm saying you're cutting <laughs> weight <laughs> to make 80 cc. and no, you're. I'm talking about how, if you do it differently for 135, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So, wait, what did you do for ADCC? What weight I class think, did you, or think, what weight did you get to? Oh, fuck, what did I do? Okay, I dieted down to like 149, 
and then did water. No, 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 no. I dieted down to like, yeah, 149. Okay, so that's the same thing. Yeah, but maybe I didn't do it right. Maybe I think for, actually also, if I only had to weigh in once, I think I would do it differently. I think I would cut way more water because it's just one shot. Okay, yes, no, no, what I'm saying is- You don't have to drop water (sighs) and then drop water. I'm saying think about your weight class or your weight cut for ADCC. You dieted down to 149 slash 150, and then you cut water to 145. And then that suffering, imagine saying, now you have to cut 10 more pounds. That's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. Doable. You think you'd be fine? I don't think I'd be fine. I think I would be able to do it. Yeah, well, yeah, every all these the MMA water, fighters, all these 135 MMA fighters are doing it, so I don't think they're special. The it's like, diet I can do was it. Worse it's not than fun. The water for me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to diet yeah. and diet. There's die in diet. D I E. Can't spell diet without die. Whatever. You got this. Come on. Yeah, no yeah. No, 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 no. It's no problem. So <laughs> what's the what's most your uh, tournament or whatever? <laughs> Muay Thai. Your Muay Thai tournament. Eight weeks away. Eight weeks oh, away. Okay. Yeah. How's your fucking my fingers? Yeah. Fingers are fucked up. They're Fingers, they're yeah. they're gonna be fucked. They'll never get back. Yeah. Just cut it off. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. see Corey Anderson's uh oh. knuckle. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it'll never be it'll never go back. You can have some ligament damage. I there? can't, I'm sure. I can't bring my so you know you can like push your middle finger yeah. toward your yeah, I can't do it. It's it hurts. Do it. Force it. I can't I tried. Come on. I can't so can you crack your knuckle like like that part? Like the top? No. The tip part? Ah. Uh. I yeah that I yeah. tried it I was like I'm just gonna do it hard once so I like tried to just force it and it was excruciating pain I was like I'm not doing it <laughs> yeah I just tried to like push it and I was like fuck do you guys finger bang a lot of chicks like in high school <laughs> <laughs> my fair how did we get from here <laughs> my, yeah, my fair share finger. this would be a great finger bang would. what's your do you guys have any sexual accidents that like left you scarred physically not emotionally <laughs> physically <laughs> scarred <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what does this mean? Have you ever broken your dick banging? Mm. Like, oh, oh okay. So, it's possible. dude, I was having sex uh, with my girlfriend, and not a man. <laughs> Let it be known. Yes. And I did go to smack her ass. Like she was on top of me, and I went to go smack her ass, and she was coming up. And I hit myself in the fucking balls. <laughs> so it a hundred percent happened. That yeah. must have been so fucking funny, dude. Yeah. I I mean, it was genuine pain, but sure. like there was genuine laughter too. But I it fucking like I hit myself fucking hard. Like it wasn't. <laughs> Boom. Like, I was like. <laughs> wow. Ah! It was like that. you still have kids? Hell or you yeah. smash them straight? You like sterilize yeah, I got that high yourself. test. I got that high test. Got high test. The Blackletics. Blackletics. You know, there you go. Luteinizing. The luteinizing, luteinizing hormone. Gods. Yeah. You guys going to have kids? Hell yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was traveling through the airport. So, I'm traveling through the airport. I get through security. Mm-hmm. Put my fucking belt on and all this shit. All my belt. stuff. Your belt. My you belt. take your belt a, off? I had a belt. Yeah, you go through the. You don't have to take your belt off. Too. Okay, regardless. Okay. <laughs> I'm like walking. He wears a belt. I'm saying my, you don't have to take your belt off. By my fucking ankles. Yeah, his pants fall down. <laughs> 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 um, and I'm putting my shit on, and I like across from me, there's a family fucking getting all their shit, and <clears throat> there's a kid crying at the top of his lungs, and I'm like, I've got like fucking straight face just fucking staring at this kid. And we're You're crying. Staring at I'm the staring kid. at the kid. <laughs> He's crying and, and because in my head, Jay's I'm like, guys. please sh- shut the fuck up, this kid. And uh, he's crying about his his iPad, like doesn't have Wi Fi. And he's like, they're crying. How old? And, How old? And he's young. <laughs> 25. He's young. Okay. And, okay. and the mom is like, I'm sorry, baby. Like, there's no Wi Fi here. I can't do anything for you. But like, I was like, this shit is like not good like there's kids that are just like fucking on their phones and shit all the time the ipad babies it's yeah. it's bad they need like that dopamine Do- hit. dopamine but it's like constant. dopamine don't be mean don't be mean, mean. Don't be mean. <laughs> they need that don't be mean. but uh it's not healthy and that's like so it's becoming yes. normalized and it's well it depends I, health is what what do you mean what why is it not healthy well, probably what's well, not i'm just gonna debate i'm not saying it's phys- i'm not i'm not saying i disagree with you no but. for your physical health right it, for an actual fucking answer to this, we need to talk to Mr. Huberman. But uh, let's get him on the podcast. Yeah, but um, <laughs> oh, mm. continue. I will not. Uh, so go on. So so what are you saying? <laughs> so what, um, you kick the kid in the face and then? No, no. I I was just like fucking. This is Sparta. I was just. 
At that very moment, I was like, I'm not having kids. Really? Yeah. That? That's no! Fucking, you, yeah, you will. I don't. I, you ever see a, ba- like a baby in the wild, and you stare at it, and it stares back? A baby oh, yeah, in the dude, wild? Oh, my God. On the airport? Yeah. I, what? <laughs> well, make faces and shit at the kids. <laughs> I used yeah. to do that. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh, you're right, just go. at Central Market, and you're shopping, and you're in line. You peek up. And this in is, the wild? And this, this is <laughs> Central Market. In the wild. I'm just saying. You're, you're, you're shopping. Out there in the world. You're at H-E-B Central Market, and you're in line, and you know you peer up and there's this baby just staring at you with eye contact it's like he doesn't know anything about respect or nothing like that so he just peers into your soul tries to see you for i I like babies i like babies i don't know i mean i I like kids in general like that's um, fucking weird yeah oh yeah yeah. don't say that well there's a serial killer on the loose (laughs) dalai lama over here (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) like kids (laughs) no no i think um i mean i definitely want to have kids and i feel like so for example when there's a crying baby on an airplane, that actually doesn't bother me. That like, me like off people, so much. people are like, uh, I can't fucking believe that parent. But it's like, all right, they, it's a fucking infant. You don't I'm know. I'm not what... gonna be mad, but it it do, it is. It's not like I'm o- yeah, totally yeah, it's, okay it's, with hearing. I'm yeah. like, all right, I'm gonna put my headphones but, on. Yeah, yeah well, I put headphones on, whatever. Irritating. But it's like, yeah. um, I'm not gonna get mad. Yeah, I'm not gonna. There, there, yeah. there was a, a viral like, video. Did you guys see that viral video <laughs> where the the guy's like, did that baby pay extra to cry? Like, whatever. Did you oh, see that video? That's a good question. No. He was like fucking freaking out because apparently it was like a it was like a four hour flight, whatever. The baby's crying the entire time, and it's like. For me, I know it's not like the parent wants their baby question. to cry. Why would yeah. a baby pay extra to cry? That makes no well, sense. Well, no, he was just pissed off. He was like, I want a fucking refund, yada, yada. I'm just like, man, it's a fucking you baby. Think he actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hold on a second. Gonna take it, as, he, as he's online, going to take it. Is like, there extra? He's a crying baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the baby is, but the baby's like scrolling through. He's <laughs> with like, his glasses on. Extra to like, cry. <laughs> on his iPad with no Wi Fi. Yeah, the attendant comes by. He's, in fact, he did pay extra. Like, All right, just checking. He's back down. <laughs> totally fine. Fine. Yeah, I I also think um, <clears throat> with children, like, you're able to kind of, so it's like, the, it's the adult's responsibility to kind of tell them how the world is, right? Like, how the world works. And it's like, this child essentially now has a superpower if you can convince this child that it can do anything. And I feel like that's fucking cool. It's like, there's so... Like, it can fly? That's a cool... Yeah. No. No. Come that's on. a cool way lo- to look at it, though. It's like, yeah, there's so much potential in this child as, yeah. like, if you... you you get this kid to. How about if his parents are just super, super lazy? Well, that's the thing. It's like that's it's why gonna, I want to have kids. I feel like it's it's yeah. it's almost like I feel like all of us should have kids due to the fact that we're on just our so mind. incredible. Well, like our the way know, the way athletes society. think, I think is different. I think can't let these uh, genetics go to waste. You know, got to exactly. repopulate. There's that. There's that. I feel like bro. I feel like um, when you're when the, you have like mental fortitude, you can now like give that to your children versus like yeah. there's so many people that that get battered by life and now they're going to have kids and they're going to tell their kids like no you can't really do that you can't do this like I you feel should like go. a problem it's like, is fuck that man come on i see children kind of as like uh little monkeys right like monkeys that just react they have like they react on instinct they're not able to control their yeah. emotions like uh, tiny I little yeah, I mean, that's sure. what i think well yeah no monkeys. no definitely so yeah. i think uh you know if you're an adult that can't control your emotions you probably shouldn't raise kids because you're probably you're going to just react you know you get angry yeah. or whatever you have to understand how to, how to teach lessons and uh, control your emotions i agree yeah i think they should uh you should beat your kids. <laughs> no, I don't. Think Actually, that. I don't even think that, dude. Uh-huh. I used to think like, oh yeah, you know, getting spanked. I don't even think it's it's it doesn't do no, anything. No, it's a stupid. It's, it's not an intelligent it's, way to teach them. Yeah. I, I used to. Uh, this is not an intelligent oh, way on. either to decay. Liam, Liam's ten years younger than me, right? So it's like when he was five, I was fifteen. I was like very coherent, and he was still pretty much like he would cry useless about stupid yeah shit you useless. know <laughs> yeah or like useless. when i was 13 and he was three He's that's three, a better, okay. better okay. idea and he would like you know cry about the dumb shit like maybe no wife he would like freak out you know yeah. like a kid does before you know so my tactic because i was like in my room and it was close i was like man this kid's gotta just shut the fuck up <laughs> I would look at him dead in the eyes and I would mimic everything he does. (laughs) (laughs) And it would confuse him so much and he immediately would stop crying. Like he would be like holding like spaghetti in his hand like this and just like flinging it around crying. And I would go like, oh yeah? I take the spaghetti and I'm like, "Ah." and he's like, Oh. He's like, this guy's a fucking maniac. <laughs> I better stop that. He's lost his shit. Yeah, yeah, and it would snap him out of it. And then he'd be like, uh, and then he'd like move, and I'd mimic it. And I'd be like, oh, oh. 
Oh, and it would, bro, it would throw <laughs> him off like a like a wild animal animal seeing a mirror for the first time and realizing like oh that oh, 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 like that and it worked and wow. then uh, yeah I think that's why he's a little fucked up. <laughs> no. no, I would I, see I would do shit like that. Like I would make uh, beating them is all right shortcut. You don't want him to cry anymore. You, but I, right. the thing is. Teach I, them, like mess with them in that's some the way. Thing. Like, well, teach the, them the thing is, is like, so I honestly don't even think beating is is a good way to discipline because now you're telling us, telling the kid, all right, when when things go wrong, use use violence, use you know physical yeah. force. It's like that's just a, a dumb brute way to go about it. Like yeah. it to be will honest, work. I don't even think no. it does. It it, it doesn't think it, does it doesn't incentivize sure. anything. It's 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 just like it just makes them scared. Yeah, yeah. You guys ever Dude, get my, beat? I got whooped a little bit, but nothing. I was like. I didn't get like hit a lot, but my siblings did. To be honest, when they would go to my uh, my uh, so my fam my family separated, but my um, like my parents are separated, and we would go to my dad's house. My younger siblings definitely got beat like every time we went there wow. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and it's like with like a shoe or something or like dude. There's one time with a stick. Wow. Yeah, they remember it. They 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 remember this. Yeah, I'll it's funny. Like we laugh about it now, and in my head, I'm just like thinking, this is that's such a dumb way to go about disciplining your child. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like better to just like teach them as much as possible, as fast as possible. Cause like if the kid in the airport, for example, the Wi-Fi, like if that kid just knows more about life, he'll understand that like, Oh, I don't have Wi-Fi. I'm going to get Wi-Fi later. Or like, it's yeah. Versus like, fucking stop deal. fucking crying. Yeah. Or like, Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to be okay. Like, no, like you, you also, if they're a, like physically addicted, physiologically with, with the, I dopamine think, receptors and they're like they need the colors all the time then yeah you take it away they're gonna yeah. freak out and they don't know how to interact with the normal world yeah like I've jump had, over yeah. some fucking lines tell the kid to jump over lines do some like, lines give me 50 push-ups yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> seriously they should be Dude, like, honestly yeah, honestly struggle. exercise as a kid for me was so fun it's like, hard the cure to, to everything it, if it you're was, exhausted it's probably gonna be super hard to yeah. yell crying yeah also you understand like there's uh, there's struggle out there like so I did something that was really hard I was hungry, I ate, and now it's like, it that sticks with you. I think your brain is healthier, you learn faster. You, literally, it's the cure to fucking everything. Like, I always what, say exercise? that. Exercise? Exercise, yeah. Yeah, like I mean, you... I, as a kid, like, I wanted to work out, like, harder. Like, I, it was, it made me feel like I was in a fucking anime movie or something. What, what do you mean, work out? Like, what did, what kind so, of, like, what did, how did you so work out as a there's, kid? So, there's, there's a, um, a, a clear example that, that I remember is, um, and my grandpa talks about it. So, like, I would play tennis, right? And then... Uh, you know, when, if I fucked up, then I'd, I'd have to do suicides. But I wasn't that tired from the suicides. So, like, I want to do more suicides. Like, I'm not that tired yet from the suicides. So, that's, like, one thing. Like, I just thought it was, like, Suicide. cool to work out hard and, like, push yourself to the limit. Now, granted, I was a child not working out nearly as hard. Like, my round with Kenta today, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, Kenta's so, good. Yeah, yeah, Kenta's he's good. good. He's good. He's gonna do well next. He's in seventy-seven. You, you beat. Do you beat Kenta, or does Kenta yeah. beat you, or you guys I'm, go I'm, back and forth? I'd say he's. I'm you're a bit bigger than him too, yeah. and you have a good style for him. Yeah, he knows your weakness now. Your shoulders. Oh, yeah, the, the shoulders. Yeah, you have to yeah. cut the other collarbone, so a uh, scar. Confuse him. Yeah. 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 You can see the metal sticking out though, so it doesn't really really work so well. Tin from fucking paper clips. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I think um, exercise is definitely good for for kids. It cures everything. If you yeah. if you have something wrong and you're like, you you skip the exercise and you go to like I don't know uh, pills or like some kind of like the other oh, thing. Oh yeah. Try if you're not exercising, sleeping well, eating right, then you're skipping like so much yeah. potential. I, it's so crazy. To, uh, to to touch up on that, it's like I feel like a lot of people, for some reason, don't want to work out. Yeah. Like they just don't. Oh, so it's, it's like they don't like the struggle. Maybe. Yeah, it's like they they want to get antidepressants or they want to yeah, get yeah. you know shortcut like sleeping yeah. pills because you know they feel like they, they have insomnia or like um, even even girls that you know they want to get these lip injections or Botox or like yada yada yada. Yeah. But it's like okay, why don't you just exercise first? It's like yeah, you're, you're probably gonna develop feel better a better body. sense of self confidence and then you may not yes. give a shit about lip injections or about exactly. all not that saying that like I'm against it or anything but I, I just <laughs> think it's like you are saying I, you're against it actually against against no I think I think it's like a lot of um I think exercise should be number one it's like I agree I agree it'll help you with your like you guys ever do gymnastics no like, in a, in a thing? I kind of I wanted to as a kid but um. I think, I think my dad was like, that's gay. I, I, do. Like that. I thought the same. I started doing it when I was a kid. And then I like 
looked up like what the professionals look like and I saw them wearing that shit, I'm like, oh, no way. That's <laughs> super you know, gay. I, I, I really I, get laughed at. Like, so uh, I think that I, I wanted to. I just wanted to be able to do backflips. Like I thought that was like a fucking ninja. I wanted to be a ninja. I remember in preschool when we graduated preschool, it was like, "What do you want to be when you're older?" And people said like, ninja. "Like a uh, uh, firefighter." <laughs> I, I said, ninja. "I want to be a ninja." I, I, so I genuinely, I thought they were the fucking coolest. Do they um, make a lot of money? Like, what's the, <laughs> what's the entry level yeah. ninja yeah. position? <laughs> what's their what's their tax bracket? Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to do gymnastics and then there also was a piece of me that wanted to do dance. Cause like the fucking hip hop dance, like the hip hop like when I saw uh Salsa? like step up or um, Oh yeah, those like, so were cool. what, yeah. what's the what's the one it was like not step things. up but what was the fucking I know the one. Chris Brown was in I, one of them. Musical, <laughs> what? Not that gay shit. It's the same fucking thing. No, it's not. Step up is I like cool. That movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought it was cool as fuck. I thought it I thought it was so dope. I really wanted to do hip hop, but I never did. That yeah, was really good. I hate musicals so Bro, much. Bro, we were musicals? speaking about like drama and shit. We were me, Nikki Rod, and Nikki Ryan were in the gym the other day, and there was a, what do you mean drama club? Or you're saying just, just drama in general? About just drama. And we were we were in the club in the in the club. We got club. popping bottles. Bottom the club. All right, no. We were at, we were at B team, and this guy was there filming, and he's like pitching this thing to us where like the can I say this? Does this you know what I'm talking about? Say it. We'll just cut it out. All right, we'll cut it out. So this guy was filming, I'm not going to say for what, and he said, like, hey, check this out. Imagine the biggest jock in the school meets the biggest thespian. Okay? I don't even know the thespian. What is that? Exactly. What the fuck is that? So I should know that word, me, though. Me, Nikki Rod, and Nikki Ryan are there, and we're like, oh, this is the point in the conversation where we're supposed to go, oh, wow. So we all simultaneously, without mm. communicating, whoa, wow, yeah. And then, like, five minutes go by, and I'm really thinking of this word. I'm like... Did he say lesbian? No, that would not be. That, what the fuck was that word? Five minutes go by. I'm like, hey, to someone. I'm like, hey, what was that word? He's like, oh, thespian. It means like a, a drama kid or like a theater pr uh, prodigy, yeah, yeah. right? So then I go, hey, thespian means that. And then he's like, yeah. And, and then we're on like to you and Nikki. I'm like, did you guys know that word? You're like, no, no idea. You guys just, <laughs> we all simultaneously just went, uh huh, yeah, totally. We so, read the room. yes, exactly. The so, uh, thespian. He's trying to make this, like, yeah. for B team? Or? No, I'm not going to go into further. Uh, no, we just had somebody filming at, at yeah, B team. At B team, yeah. yeah. It was okay. in your absence behind your back. How would you uh, go kill about raise? <laughs> yeah, how would you kill someone? How would you go about killing your child? Raising. I mean, you just go to Planned Parenthood nowadays, huh? Raising a kid uh, with today's technology, like AI. AI. No, no. Um, I mean, I definitely don't think I'd. Uh, I'm not. I don't think I'd give my my kid like an iPad and for a bit. Yeah. But put it's him like, in the forest. And that's run a thing, away man. It's survive. like fucking fun. But yeah. I do think that there's a lot of utility to having an iPad. Like I think, like you kids can learn at a faster rate with technology. Yeah. So it's like I'm not saying I'm not just gonna not have them use an yeah. iPad. I think I think it is very good to be honest. I think it's good, yeah. but you kind of ha I hate saying this, but it's like because when I was kid, I was like, why would like why would anyone's parents like like this is so much fun? But like fucking just playing on iPad all day. But it's like you have to limit yourself and like do other productive things in yeah yeah there is a lot to, a lot to learn about like how to use an ipad yeah. for example like teaches you how to you know navigate software and yeah. whatever the games like do well, educational your... games like for spelling yeah, for, shit yeah. Like for that. writing like, for at some reading. point yeah you gotta like parent it you gotta yeah. like okay put the ipad down we're gonna go run through the forest or we're gonna go bike or we're gonna go throw a yeah. fucking football or we're gonna Go play with the dog. Or yeah. camping. So, go camping. Yes. Learn how to live in the wild. So like the fire. How to fucking talk to a human. Being. How to talk. So, to me, you guys don't do that. What are you talking about? I don't, yeah, you have I no don't idea. Do that, how to you never had an like, iPad. You guys. An you, iPad? Yeah, he was. He's an, oh, you're he an iPad said, baby. That's why you can't talk no, to no, people. No, no, I wasn't an iPad baby. <laughs> I feel like I was raised at the perfect time with like technology wise. I feel like I'm at the peak of human. Because go on. Um, I had an iPad like, I don't know. I was like. 15 or something so i would just play like fucking oh, 15, like yeah. little i like ipad games whatever yeah, but you're, you're already at but like a fucking 15 in my eyes like I, you're basically fully functioning now i'm it's not like, fully functioning at 15 years old 
regardless. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but if it's you're like, only he's given an diapers. iPad at 15, then you're not an iPad baby. That's, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You would be a baby with an iPad. Yeah, that's the whole. That's thing. what I'm that's saying. That's what an iPad not, baby is. He's like, I was, I was totally an iPad that's baby. That's what I'm saying. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was not raised with an iPad like as a kid. So then, why can't you talk to strangers? I was raised. <laughs> this is not the fucking point of the conversation. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I fucking now I can't think because you guys keep fucking interrupting. You have an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> you have no social skills. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, then I'll give you my opinion. I think... <laughs> no, you don't no, even know no. what he's talking no, no, about. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm just you... playing. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Um, I think kids in general need uh, structure. Like, I think the whole thing... Um, and this is why I think, like, some parents might might not be as... Uh, as effective because they they don't have structure in their yes. lives. They need but it's goals. Like, they need like tasks and goals and hardship. Yeah, they should accompli- yeah. they should accomplish different goals. But it's like they need structure throughout the day. I believe. I I think it's best when kids have, um, you know, kind of this this schedule to kind of go through. Like you know, there's play time, then there's learning time, then there's whatever whatever versus just kind of doing whatever because it's like every kid would just choose play then. And it's like yeah. right, when there's when is their time to actually like you know make the play learning. And learn seem like playing play. like when you're like an having, ipad <laughs> well, wrestling for example you're learning and it's kind of like playing you're like you know trying to beat a guy up yeah. or like no i'm saying learning you're... like actual skills like reading writing okay, mathematics yeah. maybe you counting isn't a skill you think what it's, it's not a life yeah. skill it's not a life, it's skill. life skill for me yeah <laughs> it's got him quite far <laughs> Checkmate. I, I want. I, no, 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 no. Yes. I, I don't want to embarrass you on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, no. what is the Pythagorean theorem? Uh, I've heard about this. Completely useless to my life. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> completely irrelevant. Just I saying, know that like, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah, don't, everyone don't knows that. Don't need to know that. Don't need to know that. ATP. But I can choke you. Not you, but just people. No, no, you can choke me. I can. Then. Every once in a while. Um, um, what? It's wow. like... Wait, are you going to tell me the Pythagorean theorem? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Uh, no. <laughs> A squared plus B squared equals C squared. What is it? What, what, is, what is it? Why do we um, use it? Uh, it, is, it is, I don't know. It's the diagonal of the wedding. Nah, I don't. The hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Yeah. I don't know. So. It doesn't even. Can we, can we uh, uh, change subject? Or yeah, well, actually, you want to no, say no, something? I, I forget now. Well, See, this is what happens. This happens when no one interrupts anyone. Okay, question. I didn't get your iPad. That'll help you out. Get me an iPad? No, I mean, sorry, notepad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you want a notepad? Nah. He's like, I can't I, write I anyway. To... Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> know <sure>. letters. <laughs> this is your son. But I can wrestle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can choke you. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm ask stupid, something. but I can choke you. What were you going to ask? Yeah, yeah uh, how would you guys feel if you are you have kids, they're going through, like, elementary school, and you find out you're, that one of their teachers is, like, heavily... LGBTQ. They're like uh, take them, them out of public school. They're teaching them about like trans things. <sighs> this is like okay, I have a good answer. Why I don't they're like kids. second, third. Grade. I, I've thought about that. I have a good answer. Okay, you can't shelter them from that. You have to like find out as soon as possible, and then explain to them that that is what we call a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say this on the I internet. stand by this. <laughs> okay, I, it's, okay. They're. They have to be told that they exist out there. You can't just take them out. Yeah. Because then yeah, they're never going to see it. Fair. They're going to run into it when they're like 13 and 15. Yeah, and then they're going to the be fuck like, is oh, that? The, well, that maybe is cool. Yeah. No, you got to explain to them right away. You got to like rip the bandit off. No, that's that's a crazy yeah. person. Like mentally, emotionally unstable. Yeah. Thing. And you can't say bad things or they're going to freak out. Yeah. But like we understand that we can control our emotions, right? Like you got to teach them mm. that seems You know, actually, I, 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 I think. I, I haven't thought about this. No, 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 no. I agree with that. What if the teacher is like, so you're, to we'll, we'll both get crucified yes. and I'll go down we with you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what if the teacher is like talking to your kid or talking to the students and was like, yeah, so like, you have to pick like like your your gender. Like no, this, no, no. Or you're that. Okay, no, I, I don't I don't think about that. <laughs> so so actually, question question. Um, I've never actually really thought about this because I do think that if I like if I have a, a, a or when I have kids, like I do want them to go into like a private school, like probably like a Catholic school, just because I think the education is a bit better than public in most most parts. You don't have to deal with that bullshit like this. Yeah. But um, what if what if there is like a woman that becomes a man 
that is now a teacher but doesn't teach like doesn't just pretends like life is normal. Okay, a woman that becomes a man, but it doesn't affect. Like, doesn't well, no, like, like she, like, not. like he, he or she, whatever you want to call her, uh, <laughs> um, is the teacher now, but doesn't ever actually acknowledge that. That's fine. Like, I think that's completely fine. That's fine. That's yeah. that's exactly. Like, what doesn't talk about training. Like, so then they have to okay, be exposed to that. What about that this? What about this? Stuff. What about it's a man with a beard, with a dress, heels. Wig, a long same, hair, same thing. and then and just a wiener, and a wiener, and and just talks like teaches history, <laughs> teaches <laughs> mathematics. Yeah. Doesn't talk about like the trans I, stuff at all. You think you're? I, you're I okay wouldn't. I wouldn't favor it, but I think what Ethan said is like yeah, they have to be exposed to it. Good, they have to be. Ex- yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think it's fine, and also if it's also dependent. So if the teacher is just teaching, all right, then the kid's probably exactly. gonna go like, why do they look kind of weird? And then you explain <laughs> to them like, oh, this, exactly. this stuff exists out there. But if the teacher is like. You know, trying to can conform yeah, all the yeah, kids. Then like, I'm like, all right, no. First of all, that's a crazy person. Second of all, I may take the kid here, out of the what, school. Like, to, yeah. you know, I, I do think really I, I really want my kid in like a, a my, or my kids in like a private school setting. To be honest, I don't even really want them learning. Like, I don't want them going to school at all. Like, uh, what what age do you do you think sex education should should be uh, uh, brought about? Oh, what what was it like fifth grade or something? It was fifth for like, me officially, but I think I something. I might have known about it. Earlier, I think fourth or fifth. Oh, no. It's like what year? No. And I don't think I the think, school should do it, it though. Is, is a thing fifth grade when they just give you like, hey, here's fifth, the, here's fifth deodorant grade for, for your hormones. <laughs> yeah, I got deodorant. deodorant. <laughs> we got deodorant. Um, yeah, you guys got deodorant. Yeah, what, yeah. yeah. Well, well, condoms? look, because like, it was like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> seriously. Well, what? Well, they got a bowl of condoms and they're well, like, like <laughs> but that wasn't in fifth grade. That wasn't in fifth grade. That was like probably like high school, no? For me or eighth grade maybe. No, yeah, they were they like, weren't giving us condoms in fifth grade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fifth grade, fifth grade, I did get deodorant. I thought it was so cool to be honest. Like I was like, <laughs> I'm getting older. I was like, like I'm old getting old older. Spice. He's putting deodorant on all, all day long. So I, <laughs> <Yeah. the glasses. laughs> I got to put my deodorant on. <laughs> I remember actually. I remember uh, one of my buddies used to put it on his chest. He's like, it smells so good. <laughs> Just like on his armpits and then chest too. But um. Wait. So, what? What it's age? Like what age do you think, <laughs> like you, your kids should know about like sex? I don't know. I think it's. I wish it's, I could have reverse time and like see how I felt at these certain age. Like, because some people are clueless to like Santa yeah. Claus. Yeah. It's, it's really family. like you, you should be aware of it that as soon as you could like be aware of. Uh, like, but there's an age for that. Like, what think, age do you think? I like, think around it's, when? it's. I think the way we went about it was pretty good when they like gave us like initial fucking. Whatever the fuck is going on, just like the birds and the bees, whatever. Mm, yeah, and yeah. like fifth grade, and then like actual like learning about about these things, uh, like later in like high school. I think it was like sophomore, or, yeah, sophomore or junior year or something. I don't so know. I didn't sure you at fifth, fifth grade in the states. That's for, across. For me, the board. it was fifth grade then eighth grade. I, I had health. Pretty good. I, eighth or sixth. Or it was either fifth and sixth or fifth and eighth grade. I, we sometime got in condoms school, in eighth grade. Yeah, I got condoms back then, but it was, it was like um. I don't think I got uh, any condoms. I got, I got condoms, but I didn't have sex back then. They were like, I just thought it was cool to fucking have it. We I made like, we made <laughs> no, wa- we made water balloons. <laughs> yeah, we made water balloons and fucking fl- those things are indestructible. You ever make a water balloon with a condom? No, bro, they will not explode. I shit you not. You, we whip them at like brick walls for like so long. It was. Tell like me. Lube all over your hands. And yes, stuff. it was gross. How do you guys feel about um, homeschooling? It's possible. Um, I, I think I, that's that's a second a thing. thing for me. I think like I I believe in homeschooling, but the thing is, it that means the parent essentially has to not work. So it's like if that's the yeah. case, which is like kind of difficult. Also, and, I think the kid uh, needs social. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think yeah, that too, but yeah, I think yeah. also like imagine kids are homeschooled but like they're doing extracurricular <laughs> still like they're yeah. in they're they're doing jujitsu they're doing boxing or they're they're on team that's sports good, basketball good. or yeah. tennis whatever like they're playing like yeah. around still like i think that's okay you got to have a lot of time for your kids you're 100 percent raising it that's the thing like kid, if you're going to yeah. homeschool your kid it's like i think that's good though honestly because then you're you're surrounding the kid with groups of 
other kids that are doing things that we're talking about, like basketball, they're learning and they're on a team and they understand like cohesion, working together. The one thing shit, I do like, think, yeah, I mean, actually, I, I agree no. with that. The one thing that will will be a downside is that uh, downside. kids that do that is like they often don't have uh, social skills with females because the majority of the the team sports are male versus yeah. like male. Like put males. them in like put them in like camp or something. You know. Well, the thing is, I think camps are very good too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like. Yeah, just just camp and like summer camp, whatever you have to fucking play around, you know. Concentration shit. camps. Uh, right, what no, do you you're think, familiar with that. When is like for a guy, right? When is too old to have like children? Like um, we know too you old can, for a guy. Like, yeah, like you know, like we, we can, physically I mean, we, we can, can always phys- have kids. We can always have kids, but like yeah, when like nine, are your genetics like like is it gonna, are you going to be having more like you know think three, headed, three headed kids if you're like seventy having no dude I think uh, for the male We're it's chilling. like really. You can have a kid. Females, on the other hand, it's, it's like there's a point where you just f- physically cannot, like physiologically, there's yeah. nothing. What do you think the oldest for women should be to have kids? Should? Well, I mean, they have like that thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah eventually, yeah. they'll they'll won't be able to, but like, well, they like, won't be able to, but also like, I think over 35 is like there's higher risk for. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know the I don't no, know no, no, statistics. No, for like, yeah. Um, uh, um, for them to come Dis- out like, like looking like you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, you we don't want that. Uh, like, fucking dysfunctional kids and shit like that. I forget. What, what, mutations yeah, in the sure. DNA yeah, and shit. Ge- genetic de- yeah, yeah. defects. Yeah. What's your question? So it's about like uh, when when do you when do you guys think when do you <laughs> when do you when do you guys think um, it's too late for uh, the woman? I mean, they figured it out. There's definitely like uh, you know. I'm an saying, average. when do you guys think? <laughs> Our unprofessional opinion. Yeah, our bro side, our like, simple man like opinion. If you if you well, it's go actually, after it's fifty, it? it's, no menopause yeah. is like fifty or forty five. No, it's after that. I mean, in well, some it could women, be it's there. for sure. Look, my mom had Liam when she was like, bro, like sixty something. What? Really? <laughs> she was getting nicked down like that. No, like. Could be wrong. Let me. <laughs> get nicked down. How old is uh, your mom now? She's, she's maybe 80 80 years, years old. Maybe. <laughs> she's 78, 79. No, 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 no. She, she's okay. She's almost 70 now. Okay, so, so, so she was younger, it. So, so 61. Like 50, 50, Actually, yeah, no, maybe, no, no, Jesus Christ, uh, 51. 50, 51, 50 52. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> Liam walked in on your dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm banging. Oh, we gotta get Liam on this <laughs> yeah, at yeah, some point yeah. when he's so, back. Liam tells uh tells this me a story. So Liam's funny. Ethan's little brother. He was like, dude, I walked in on my dad. Who's like, how old is your dad? 75, 70? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, at the time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, I walked in on my dad uh banging his girlfriend or his like <laughs> wife or whatever. Don't clip this. I don't want people. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely uh we'll... No, really? Don't you can leave it in, but don't clip it and don't fucking I'll yeah, clip yeah, it. Yeah. I'm Just in charge on. of the clips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna forget Your parents aren't on social media, are they? I think my dad will see this. If you clip it and put it <laughs> yeah, if I clip it and to... send it to him. <laughs> I think he'll see it. I'm like you Mr. Kellenston. <laughs> Ethan is telling yeah, us what's even, going. He's like, he had no idea. I just email it to him. Yeah. Oh, what's who this? the fuck uses the email? Simple Man Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, oh no, Ethan, you can't be telling these stories. Oh uh, my god. Anyway, so yeah, he walked in and uh, yeah, that was that. You guys were walking out of your parents. I've never, I've never actually. Me neither. Um, but uh. I forget the position that Liam. Yeah, no, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking reiterate. <laughs> Liam, Let's leave tell this me if Liam feels like of telling these seventy-year-old <sighs> sex uh, escapades. No, I no. Once, it... I got Liam to stop crying. As I'm just thinking about this again. You ever? <laughs> By you ever? Sex with <laughs> <laughs> he was crying until I started banging him. Oh like, my go on. god! Go no, on, no, go no. on. You ever dangle? <laughs> <laughs> What? what? I don't know, dude. I know you're dangling. Dangle what? Dangle what? what you a dangling? set of keys. A set of like little keys. Like you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever be able to do that to Jay? Were you old enough dangling? to make him stop? Like if Jay was fucking crying about some stupid shit, you're like, oh my god, shut up! And you like dangle a set of keys like this, like in front of their dude, face, I, I, and they're like, oh, distract. No, boom. Oh my. Me and, me, me and Jay would play all the time, and we'd play up until he started crying, and then I have to. 
I go right into action. I'd be like, Whoa. me too, <laughs> me too. And you have to get them to laugh yeah. before mom comes yeah, down dude, and sees it. Like tickle him until he Bro, laughs. He's like, me I too. I would like, I would <laughs> play fight with Liam, and I'd accidentally give him a nosebleed or something, and he, he'd be, ah, he start crying. And my mom's like one staircase away, so I'd be like, oh shit, I get into it. We do some dumb shit, and the crying turns to laughter, and then mom comes down. She's like, what's going on? Laughter. We're having a great time. Go upstairs. And then Liam's like, oh, dude. <laughs> my, my little sister, I remember, like, so um, I think, uh, so what is she, seven years. Okay, so I must have been nine. She was like two or three. And uh, my little sister, Alani, she, when she was two years old, always fucking crying. Like, it was like terrible to, always says no to everything, right? But, um, you know, we'd always play and then she'd fucking start crying. And then what I would do was uh, I would hit myself and then pretend I got knocked out to make her laugh. That's good. That's so good. So I'd be like, oh, and she'd be like, she started uh, fucking crying or like start hitting funny, myself. I will say that. Is, <laughs> quite, quite, quite I remember that. That's like a, that unlocked a memory. That's, That's crazy. Good, yeah. 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 What else would I do? I'd really just that. Just like, and they fucking <laughs> laugh. <laughs> that was it. Bro. Those were the days. Those were simple times. Simple man times. Yeah, simple man times. I don't think um, some people say like, uh, you know, that those childhood years, those are golden years. I still wouldn't want to go back to my childhood years. Really? I just like. I'd I go like... back and start training. I'm having fun. Oh, right okay, now. yeah. No, I'm that's the thing. It's like too. I'm having fun. Is the thing. It's good, but I would go. I would definitely go back and like, get literally world class wrestling. That would be great. Like, well, I'd no, no, no. You, you lose the memories of now. Oh, no. You just roll the dice, hopefully. That oh, well, you choose I mean, a, if you go, better. no, then the same exact thing would happen. Determinism. And also, well, we if you don't. go back and nothing changes, you're going to end up, we're going to end up right here in this room. You don't know that. Right? I could choose something else. I have free will. That's the whole idea between determinism well, and Well, yeah, and you, free have, will. you had free will last time. Yeah, I just chose one thing. But you chose it because of all the external variables. No, that's determinism. Back, that's determinism. That's determinism. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up for a second. If we reverse the universe and all the molecules and atoms go back yes. in reverse to when you I had you a decision to old, train jiu-jitsu or not to train jiu-jitsu. Or you we'll had say. all your decisions, anything. Okay, yep. You're the same thing's going to happen. That's because determinism. everything is the same. No, that's determinism. The thing is, so with that mindset, then it's... If everything's the same, then I never actually had the ability to, ability to choose a different route because no, you, all the you molecules are the had same. The ability, but you would still do the same thing. The thing is, so say there's say there's an option to end up here and an option to end up somewhere else, or whatever. That decision should be 50-50. So it's a flip of a coin whether or not I choose this versus this is what I'm I saying. I think it, if you keep everything the same, you do the same going forward. But if you go back in time and like, so then there's no free will. And like. That's the no, determinism. There's because now we're going forward, and I could choose to do this or that. No, and the thing like, is, no you, one can predict that. No, the thing is, we can predict that because we were just talking about this conversation, and then now you did that. Ah, That's the whole. That. <laughs> so if we reverse, if we reverse all the molecules, we'll have that same conversation. I'll do that and that again. I believe you wouldn't do that. I believe I would. <laughs> <laughs> and I can prove it. <laughs> uh, I have to piss. <laughs> <laughs> guys so um i'll try and piss the shit stains off oh <laughs> yeah. uh, yes you have some disgusting poops bro so are your poops ever solid oh yeah the cheese seeds that was the only time no no so usually actually when we change since i changed my diet it changed immensely and then when i got hurt i was like I'm not going to eat clean. Diet. So it's been pretty bad. So my poops have been bad. But what, aside, what was your diet like uh, when you cleaned it up? When I cleaned it up? Oh, I just stopped eating candy. Oh, like, that was, was the only candy. fucking problem. <laughs> Molten trolley. Yeah. I was eating so much fucking candy. Mm. It was bad. Guys, did you guys watch uh, Ryan Garcia? Oh, you got fucking liver shot. liver shot. Yeah, yeah. He, he. Where's your your liver? You can only hit the liver from the front. You can hit it from the How do your ribs you not get technically damaged. hit it from the back too? Yeah, no, it can. It but can. it's like I feel like liver shot is such a hard shot. Your liver's taking damage before your like ribs well, are breaking. I feel like usually, your ribs are so delicate. Usually, what happens like when you do a liver shot, it they hit the floating rib and pushes it into the liver. Ah. So that's that's pretty much what happens. You can go a. Yeah. Through the ribs, you can go, 
you can push the floating rib. You can technically go like under the floating under. rib and go up, right? But yeah. um, usually it's like that floating rib touching the liver, and uh, that's what fucking hurts. Yeah, yeah. But you I can still break it. Talking it's scary. About poop and now you're talking about liver shots. Yeah. yeah, did you watch the Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis? I just saw like some highlights. He KO'd uh, Ryan, right? Uh, yeah, technically. Technically, why? What? Um, why? He he hit him with a liver shot, and then uh, Ryan took a knee and couldn't get back up. Wow. Yeah. That is some power right there. Yeah. yeah that is some power. And Crazy, this guy's man. bigger. Ryan Ryan's supposed to be bigger. Ryan's right? bigger. They get a tough There's some cut, things though. Like so, he had to make. I think it was 140. I think it was 135. It was 135. Yeah, Ryan's moving oh. up a weight class okay. now because it was tough. Well, to so it was 135, but there's a rehydration test before the fight. So he can't make weight like the night before or whatever and then rehydrate. He has to stay. He couldn't oh, be more than like wow. two pounds heavier than that. And I was like, that's, Ooh, bro, that's ridiculous. Fun. It's crazy, that's especially with good. boxing, man. That's weird. Yeah, that probably, well, well, it was, probably that's the only it. reason Gervonta – uh, would have taken the fight. It was a stipulation in the uh, contract. Yeah. Smart. That's yeah. fucked. That probably Dude, fucked. causes your brain to go through so much more damage. Yeah. Like there's, it's less like there's less, less fluid in, in there. the meninges, right? Yeah, fuck, man. That's um, crazy. Yo, you guys ever... I, the reason I'm thinking about this because you posted something on your story and it just made me fucking die. It was like a gorilla walking away from something. Oh. He's like, not my best work. Oh, like, yeah. That's, so so my best. <laughs> so, yeah. that's you, bro. That's yeah. you. Because yeah. you're Dude, iPad baby. That yeah. made me laugh so much. <laughs> just like... Put my phone out. Like, oh, that's funny. I remember that was a, call, like, a week ago or something like that. I something like that, that, yeah. Do you guys ever, like, at the end of the day or yes. a week goes by and yep. you're like, fuck. No. Why did I be? Why did I do that? Or why did I yeah. say I that to this guy? Or why did I do that with yeah. this situation? Dude, you know, I'll do that from a situation eight years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm me not too. Lying. For sure. Like, when I'm sleeping. I'm not lying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Maybe, like, I'm laying down. I'm like, fuck, why did I do that? I know. And <laughs> like, then, like, ten minutes will go by. I'm in bed. I'm like, why did I? I'm like, fuck, I'm If so I could only go back like, in okay. time to that one day, <laughs> if I just had a time machine, <laughs> change everything. Yeah, I wonder if the Austin serial killer does the same thing. He's like, fuck, I did I it should. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There I go, killing yeah, again. Keep doing that, fuck. Yeah. <sighs> How yeah. does he not get caught? Uh, it's so easy to just fucking kill like, someone dude, and not get caught. Okay, like, how would you? He's a ghillie suit sliding across Lady Bird. Like, you can't see him. He What's plays. a ghillie suit? You don't know what a ghillie suit is. Oh, oh no, I know. I was just saying if you No, no, I I know. Yeah. A ghillie suit. So you have gills, right? Yeah. 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 Never, it's like a, never a play Call of Duty. Camouflage. Oh. Camouflage. Yeah, thing, yeah, like. it's camouflage. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't play video games. See, I spent my time outside like yes, a healthy yes. person. Well, you, would, you would know Gilly's here you outside. <laughs> Hunting. I go to the grocery store. <laughs> so I, I go there in a ghillie suit. I'm like, <laughs> getting my fresh produce. Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu has helped a lot with my social skills. Like immensely. No, they haven't. They have. It was, <laughs> well, it was <laughs> bad before. What do you, I think, what do you wait, think? are you serious? You think he's not good socially? No, socially with us, I think he's great. I think new people, I think both of you guys. What? Oh, well, don't I mean, talk. why would I want to talk to a stranger? What? Um, wait, wait, wait. If they wait, talk wait, to wait, me, wait, I'll, I'll talk stranger, to them. You guys, none of you guys talk. You guys don't talk. Nikki's the same way. If, if you do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Some would say he talks too much. <laughs> Comment a, if you think he talks a, too a, much. A, <laughs> <laughs> right. And just fucking leave me alone about interrupting people. You piece of shit. Fuck you. I carry this thing, all right? <laughs> Continue. One comment, one comment about you carrying it, and you're like, I must talk all the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I carry it? I'll carry it higher. <laughs> Elevate. I did it again. <laughs> 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 what were we even fucking talking about? No, social, 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 social new people. Um, yeah, you, you don't really talk to new people. That, I, if you people talk to new people, I if people that, talk yeah. to uh, if people talk to me, I'll talk to them. Like, well, fucking, that's fine. But it's like pulling but I'm teeth. Not, I'm not gonna go out. <laughs> I'm not gonna go out of my way to talk to a stranger. Yeah, yeah, but like if they talk to you, like, so they're gonna be like, they're gonna ask you a question. You're gonna answer, answer that question, and, then I go and you'll like never, <laughs> you'll, you won't like continue the conversation. You'll go it'll like a yes, up, no. Just it'll now. end like, uh, just yeah, like yeah, silence, see. silence. Yeah. It's never yeah. like, oh yeah, man, have a, have a great day. You're that's like that. I fucking would, fine. What's wrong my, with that? No, that's what? just social interaction. That's just like that's how but you. But it's not negative. It, not I'm not negative. saying a negative. 
I think you're, of, aren't you saying it's it's not the the good thing to do? Like you no, should. I'm saying just because good? you don't just because you don't have social skills doesn't mean it's good or bad. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, no, so I mean, he doesn't. That, you're saying he doesn't skills. have so not well, with not so, He has social skills. With us, he's totally normal. Nicky, guy's totally normal. Yeah, but with strangers, with strangers, there's definitely a level of. So I you, think you're just gonna open up to a stranger and tell him tell him her days yeah. ago how you yeah, feel about things. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. It's just conversation. Nah, small talk. Ah, goals. just like you yeah. guys don't have friends outside of jujitsu. You're my friend. Are you, I'm yeah, I am your friend, but I do jujitsu. Do you guys? Like, I have, I have many friends out. Of, like some of my closest friends do not do jujitsu. Wow, <laughs> fuck yeah. you. What about yeah. us? You, you guys closest. are my closest friends as well. But I say some of my other closest friends. I'm offended. I'm offended as well. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. No, no, no. <laughs> like out of here. Yeah, take it here, back. Here. Yeah. You said anyone that is not um We're above people. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I, oh, I, you know what he's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says like we are above people. Because we If do you don't this. think like that, people will not look up to you. Oh, he's got points. He's got points. He's got points. I, I, I bet Connor. If Stephen Hawking was like, "Oh, I suck." He was like, "No, I'm the fucking Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I'm the best in the world." I think like astrophysicists probably don't have that like ego. Well, maybe they do. The best one does. Well, I think. One. I think the, I the think, best one for sure. Does. I think yeah, academia right. is full of like narcissists. I think they're better because like that's the whole thing is trying to prove other people wrong and their shit right. Like that, I mean, that. yeah, they are pretty good. You know, that's but, pretty um, important for. But I don't human. think that's necessarily like the case because it's like. There's a lot of things that you can learn from other people that might not be not from normal people, from people that own businesses and like. All right, what are, and what's, like a normal, are, what's, a, what's a normal person? Person that has a job. What if that yeah. that person's All job? Right, so is, you're telling me you're gonna go to somebody that's working checkout at Shoprite. You, you're gonna be asking about their life in hopes of learning something that would benefit you. I never said that, but I'm saying like, what if there's a person that works, uh, you know, for a company and they're doing like software or software sales? They could be a salesman. Or whatever. It's like there's, there's a lot of skills because to be you, learned from salesmen. Because I'm sorry for interrupting you. Because you're on a business, <laughs> you can yeah, learn something from sales. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, that's different. So, but, but, but so I don't, think, I don't see myself picking. above them. Well, I mean, you can. That's you why can. they look up to you. <laughs> but like to use that as a metric, it's like if I can't learn anything from this guy, therefore I am above him. It's a little fucked up. Well, I think no, no I think the yeah. <laughs> It's a different metric. The metric for us is like. Like, how hard are you? How 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 difficult? <laughs> <laughs> how hard are you? How difficult? I'm so fucking hard. I'm <laughs> rock hard right now. I am like I'm so fucking un- hard. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to ask me this. <laughs> <laughs> you almost spit that water up, bro. It's like how difficult would it be to fight you? That's a Depends That's how the hard measure. you are. Yeah. <laughs> How difficult would it be to fight? I don't think that so if man. you think it's easy to fight someone, you're better than them. Are you better than your mother? Okay, what, a, what about Jeff Bezos? I'm sorry. That's a higher metric. Different metric. What, well, like, what do you... All right, if there's no money, if there's no such thing as money, what matters? Status. Survival. Status. Well, what is status? How do you, and then how do you get status? status. There's no money. Arbitrary. By beating the shit out of him. Exactly. All right, he's got a point. He's right. No. He's right. Okay, um, wait, hold on. The, it's a brute that thing. is fair that like the, that air of superiority needs to happen for you to be like a Conor McGregor, a fucking exactly. whatever. But do you... GSP. That's... I was getting to that. Okay. Khabib. GSP. No, see, GSP, I probably doubt that he genuinely feels he's better than, any, than anyone. But like other people instill that on him. So like... You know, but when he's good. fighting, you don't think he's like, I'm better than this guy. When he's fighting, for Absolutely. sure. Yeah, you for sure. You have fight. to have that self-confidence. I'm saying to be so a like, normal functioning human being, you don't oh, have I, to. I, I don't know. That's what out there in the world. <laughs> also, also, am I going to not carry on a conversation with someone because I'm in my head, I'm like, I'm, I'm so than much better than this guy. Yes, that's exactly. Like, well, that's I mean, a that, little that's fucking crazy. I was like, uh-huh. That's a rough way to go out life, for sure. I think, I think... When I sometimes I have small talk and I think to myself, I'm like, I'm gonna practice my small talk. Right now. <laughs> you're and a tool. That, you're a tool for me. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that, you're on with the gorilla. Yeah. I fucked that one up. <laughs> I, I like, I'm like, hey, what's up? How's your day? He was like, they'll be like, good, great. You're I'm walking like, away. You're like, that was sick. <laughs> if they're answering, you're like, what? The fuck? <laughs> Walk away as the answer. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you're I like, like, all right. On accident. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Today, on accident. Yeah. What happened? 
I just have momentum. And a lot of times I'm talking to people when, when I'm Yeah, moving, you're on the go. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm like, hey, and like habitually, I'll be like, hey, what's up? How's your day? I'm like, I'm nah, like, as, I'm moving, I forget the stuff. as I say that so many times, I'm like, I fucked up. Because that, like, uh, I think it's a very decent thing to be like, to understand that this, they don't actually intend to hear how your day is going. It's just a greeting. Yes. It's just a greeting. Yes. And if you start, like, if you go, hey, how's your day? And then I go, oh, man, Can have I? a seat. <laughs> I really have a lot to yeah. unload here. You're like, no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep walking. Like, I'm drinking water. I'm going to start training. You know, you, yeah. come on. But, like, in with with us, yeah, we're going to. It's we different. It's different. Yeah. yeah. But, like, a normal, I'm, yeah, like someone I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm going to really be that invested in a conversation but exactly. i'm not saying invested in a conversation but it take, take a while for me to get to know like you sure, like you, know? you sorry i don't i don't see like i don't see the point sometimes and just have it like if you're standing next to somebody on the subway are you gonna have a conversation with them or are you just gonna keep your mouth shut and go to your work job? i usually do my thing but it's like you know if someone's having a conversation i'll definitely have a conversation You'll jump in their conversation no like, no i'm saying like if they talk to me then i'm gonna be i'm gonna be reciprocating uh, i think that's different yeah but it's like uh, okay now but do you shut it down or do you keep it going? No, no, I'll keep going. I like. It's I'll just so be, dependent it's on the situation. It's just normal conversation. Just yeah. like, oh yeah, like, they're not, right. like now they're because the thing is, is like there there are people with different life experiences. Maybe like I'm interested. I'll like. Yeah. Turns out this person came from the fucking Congo and it's is in an as asylum. It's like, oh, like yeah. I had a I had a, before going to Vegas. Actually, my Uber driver uh, is a fucking. A, he's like a. Um, a refugee or whatever from Africa and then I was genuinely asking like what the fuck was it like because it's like yeah. the the government there was trying to fucking kill him because he had reported his this company whatever whatever I'm just like dude that's fucking cool that yeah, yeah I think bro that's fucking cool do you like, talk to all your Uber drivers no 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 I definitely only talk to my Uber drivers that talk to me and usually I have headphones on sometimes I need to do like work or something but if it's like like that case I was genuinely like the guy fucking lived in Paris then fucking yeah. had to go to America and then I'd be much more inclined to do like to like and make an effort to get to know someone like at B team or like someone that comes to eat with us after trading fair, like fair, yeah. oh this person's now kind of in my life in some way I like I'll understand a bit of their backstory what do they do what are their whatever but like most times people get the idea that you're just, you know, you're, I, I go to train for example, and like a guy will start a start a conversation. Like it's, it's totally understandable to just like find your way out of the conversation. Sometimes you're not always going to be fucking, I'm going to take this time to learn about this okay, person's here, story. Here. Like, come on. How do you find your way out? Do you just <laughs> walk away? Oh, I have a whole thing. Okay. okay. <laughs> you're stuck in a conversation. A good one is like, you look, you listen for the room, you listen for like around the room and you reach for something as one of you is walking by and then you just shake hands and you ask fucking anything. You're like, oh, and you make it seem urgent. That's a good one. If you're like walking by, like, oh, I need to talk about the simple man for a second. I'm like, oh, you know, and they get it and that's not rude. But if you just fucking walk away. Yeah. Okay, you know, here. What about friends that don't do jujitsu? Why don't you guys have friends that do jujitsu? I don't go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of social interactions. I have social interactions with friends online. I have friends that don't ju do jujitsu, but they did wrestle. So we made that we to... made that connection, you know. But like in high school, bro, honestly, I didn't respect people unless they wrestled. Like I was like, oh, you're playing basketball in the, in the winter. Like, that's cool. fucking yeah. 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 Well, Dude, the basketball well, players, the, the wrestlers would tuck. We would tuck our sweatpants <laughs> into our socks. <laughs> <laughs> penises. <laughs> we tuck our penises we between our, our legs <laughs> and run around. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. I look up like you think of the same. Yeah. <laughs> the the wrestlers would tuck like cut, <laughs> fuck you guys. What their sweatpants into the socks? Yes, sweatpants into the socks. Oh, the basketball socks. players used to do that. We would do that. The fucking wrestlers. That's would a do wrestler that. thing. And That's then the next year, just a wrestler thing. Yeah, and then the lacrosse wrestler, player. We did that in lacrosse. No, no, no. We did wrestlers. we did it for cutting wrestling. weight, and then it became a style. You did um, not come up with the style of tucking okay. sweatpants into yes. the socks. The I'm cooler wrestlers, than you. Did. It's not. We didn't do it for style. Is but the thing. So what'd you do it for? People, you got it Aerodynamics. Got from wrestling. Yeah. You're fucking simple, man. You're an idiot. No, wrestlers think. did it first. <laughs> wrestlers no, yeah. definitely did it first. No, anyway, we have the to next run around. Year, so why would we want the fucking bottom of the sweatpants just running around? So get, we tuck get the right size sweatpants. It, we just what? Get the right size sweatpants. Sweatpants. You have sweatpants down to your fucking ankles. What you have That's sweatpants, what sweatpants do? They go down, down to your, to your ankle. ankles, like like yeah. you your think fucking your, your heel. End at your knee. Your Those heel? are called shorts. Jay. No, your heel is fucking. 
But he walked around with fucking. No, so he touched like, the ground. I thought it was walk. just to heat up more or something. No, I didn't he, know it was like, to keep, keep heat in. Keeps the heat in. Yeah, yeah. we'll just find an excuse. No, in see. lacrosse, Wrestlers, you, you would we would run around. We have our sweatpants on, but you tuck it into the into the. Everybody your would do this. Yeah, it's just more comfortable. Yeah, was there for, wrestling at your at that? Sport? No, there was no wrestling. Well, did they know about wrestling? Have they ever said the word wrestling? This is nuts. So that you're defending. Bold. You're a lacrosse you guy think now. What basketball the fuck? players d- always did that, okay. unless it no. came from your school it where came, you were wrestling. It came from the wrestlers. That's where it came from. No. Regardless, the basketball players start doing next year, and I'm like, he's gonna just fucking dick riding. It must. It, that's that's a an egocentric way to to think I mean, about life. I am Maybe the wrestlers sister. were just the most yeah, vocal sure. about it, huh? They're like, they're like, hey, check this out. Like, right. so just because somebody didn't do wrestling, now they're below you. Yes. In, in high school, yep. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're, when you're younger. Them, I was like, you haven't suffered in life like I've suffered. So I'm above you. I, I honestly thought that. Like makes that. sense to an extent. I understand this. No, I do no. understand. I don't agree with it now, but I could see myself agreeing with it when I was in high school. I could be like, I could fuck this guy up. I'm yeah. way better than him. Even it, but I understand as a grown man, that's actually not <laughs> a good way to look yeah, yeah. at other humans. You know? Even like, in like math class, I had a... My math teacher was the basketball coach and he's like a big, like tall jack. Wow, guy. that's fucking And bad. I was like... He's a piece of shit. Exactly. At, like fi- at like 15, 16, I was like, I could be your ass right now. Well, the I thing, would honestly think that. You said every, that to him? No, no, no. In my mind, I would think that every day in class, I was like, you're a basketball player. I could beat your ass. Right yeah, what about this? What about what about there's uh, the intelligent kid in math class, right, taking fucking, you know, Calc 2 as a freshman or whatever. And then he's like, yeah, this guy's a wrestler. He's a dumb brute that, like, won't do anything. I'm going to be a CEO at I age 22 it, making, yeah. like, $5 million a year yeah, or whatever. It's like, I could still beat your ass. But he could hire, I can like buy your sport. whole life and then yeah. throw it away. The, there's a clip of Joe Rogan talking yeah, about this. I kill like, you with my hands. Basketball yeah. players were talking about, oh, they beat, they fucking, so one loses a basketball game, and then they're like, oh, but I could still fuck you up. No, I could, yeah, well, I yes, still beat yes. you up. I well, lost a fight, well, but I can still beat you up. Not the basketball. thing with wrestling, though. Wrestling, you could still fight. Fighting is fighting. Yeah, but like there's yeah, MMA high, fighters that are like, oh, there's, there's, there's no wrestling. MMA fighters in high school. Well, there are. Oh my god, this fucking guy. Brother. You can't argue. Brother. What are you talking about? Raul Rosas. He fought at fucking 16, 17. All right. Normally, there's no. Uh, listen, I, this, <laughs> I mean, then, what about the boxers? What about the boxers? They're they're like this guy wrestling. They've never been taken down. As a consist, yeah. as a consistent, you never sport. knock somebody out. Do you guys think wrestling is the most important sport in mixed martial arts to be very good at? Like, if you if you had one thing to excel in, it's the base. I, it I the would base. say wrestling is the would, core, and if you like, if you have really good wrestling, that's your best bet. I think. I don't know. If I, I think said wrestling that right, is yeah. the most important base to have, but like, like. Adesanya, right? One of the best strikers in the UFC's ever seen. Yeah, and like he can. Control, he fucked up some wrestlers, bro. Yeah, he can control range so so well and super impressive. Um, but again, he can still get taken down. Granted, he has a yeah. phenomenal ability to get up and off the ground. <laughs> yeah, Ben so Askren. I, I think because of that, because wrestlers have the ability to impose wrestling like most of the time. It's a lot easier. Best, so go on. I would say the best base to have, in my opinion, would be wrestling. Yeah, I would I say agree. it's a lot more likely that like if you have one guy who's a pure kickboxer versus one guy who's a pure wrestler it's a lot more likely the wrestler is just going to close the distance and take him down then actually, he's going to get KO'd on the way in or something I would agree yeah actually so like when when I do like MMA sparring like uh there's a couple guys that are extremely good strikers like kickboxing or karate or whatever and when I spar with them I or I'm like I'm gonna take you down. Like I'm yeah. not I'm not yeah. playing around with this. Like maybe a little bit, but you're gonna get taken down, and I'm just gonna hold you down. Mm-hmm. I th- last time I sparred this one dude, I took him down. I had a rear naked choke, but didn't finish it. Cause you were tired. Well, I just or didn't no. want him to get back up. Like, oh yeah. Because yeah. like you sub him, I was like, now you stand back. I'm like, no no no, we're gonna. Let- yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm yeah. not gonna do this. Something that wrestling does really good, uh, in instilling in the in the youth is the culture right? like the Life, no quit the lifestyle the culture of wrestling like you got to learn how to work hard you got to learn constantly salt uh, yeah. minute problem solving and you always have somebody else like different opponents it gives you small goals too like obviously you want to win matches but 
maybe you want to you want to just be the best guy in your room, and it gives you ability to learn. I think learning how to learn is very important. There's that's a, that. that's a huge reason why I think like I'm gonna put my kids in wrestling over other sports because <clears throat> it's it's gruelingly tough. Like honestly, I, I would honestly <laughs> even say that uh, I think the uh, it, it's grueling, but I think the most valuable thing from wrestling is like. When you, or just grappling in general is like when you're in a shitty position, you just don't give up. You fucking you yeah, fight you out fight. of that, and it's like that's yeah. a great way to go about life. Like when you're fucked in life, you don't just, just quit. Give up, yeah. yeah, you just you know you keep and fighting. Lear- and learning how to work when you're exhausted and you gotta keep moving because sometimes some of these sequences it's just like whoever stops moving first yeah. loses. Yeah, yeah, like some of these that's fucking that scrambles. Heart. That dog, that dog. Mm-hmm. That's that J Rod. Mm-hmm. That J Rod. Uh, give me, give me ten more seconds. <laughs> I was all of your matches just need 10 more seconds. It's, Dude, I, it's, I was thinking about this a lot. I need to change how I go about competition when it comes about uh, getting when it comes up to the pa- beginning pacing because I right, getting fucked up in the beginning like you pace yourself too slowly if anything. Too slowly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, like yeah, I, yeah, can, don't get I can tired. I can last for fucking forever. Like I have I have a great gas tank. Yeah, yeah. But it's like maybe not gas tank but my pacing is fucking great. So it's like, yeah, I could go for forever, but the matches aren't for forever. No, exactly. It's a 10-minute match. So now, I needed to fucking kill you within 10 so minutes. So, for example, like for Pedro, at the end of that, were you exhausted or not yet? I mean, I was... He was, was way more tired than you. Yeah, but yeah. were you exhausted? Like, so like, I wasn't thing, exhausted. I so like then, yeah, so then it means like you could have... Because you kind of... I guess you don't want to go to exhaustion because, like, just like, in case there's an overtime. More, but yeah, more. yeah, That's you good. probably like, had another solid two minutes yeah. of push while he maybe had another. Yeah. It looked like he was really slowing down, Bro, and you were. He was just <laughs> framing for the life of him. You could see his face; yeah. he's just like biting down. So if you just framing. if you started that heavier pace, like earlier. two minutes earlier, yeah. you may have scored yeah. before time ran out. Do you out. think yeah, we but... should? Uh, we should like negate some training to doing specifically in super intense like. Dude, 10 or 15 I think rounds. that's this is what I'm talking about. Are you him? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're is, the only person that can cut. The, this is a conversation people. that includes all of us, though. Um, I think we should have some days where it's like purely competition rounds, where we split, either split uh, the competitors and the like not so competitive people, or we have. Uh, the class in, in two groups, half uh, like group A and group B. Group A goes for 10 minutes and just fucking kills each other for 10 minutes. And you know you only have 10 minutes, but there's no round. You like you have a 10-minute break after that. Uh, group A goes. Group B sits on the sides, fucking finds their their partner, uh, cheer cheering and shit. You know, so the people s- taking time off are like the audience, which audience. increases the intensity. And exactly. you also have to recover in between the, that match. You're reco- yes, yeah, you're yeah. recovering. So group A goes for 10 minutes. They go off. <laughs> they're doing the same thing, finding their next partner and cheering. And then group B goes. And group, group B is fucking killing each other for the next 10 minutes. I, I think that's a good idea. Like maybe once or like in camp, one or, once or twice a week we do that. And then the yeah. other days we do the long session yes. where it's like 60 minutes straight yeah. getting after. Like, uh, we're we talking don't, about this on one yeah. of the things. We're yes. saying that we should I we think should it's really important. You can't just replicate. do one because if you just do 10 minutes, then you're, the second you have a five-minute overtime, you're fucked. So having both yeah. throughout the week, I, th- I think we, we, like, we, we still do the, the 60 minutes, the, the six rounds or whatever. Yeah. But. The same day you guys are saying? No, no, different days. Okay, different. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I think still do the, the six rounds, but at like, like each person would do three rounds. You do fucking if your group, you yeah, go like fucking on, one, maybe uh, six, six rounds. Like one typ- off. typical training Monday, and then on Tuesday comp, comp rounds, which, which will be like ten on, ten off, ten on, ten yeah, off. Exactly. Yeah, ten on. Exactly. I, I think, think so. I think I we think have so. to do that. It, how, yeah. how often? Twice a week. I think it's just if we're in camp one, well, once or twice a week. Maybe like yeah. you know peak. Uh, either we do them separate days, like maybe like a, a Tuesday Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. You guys think we need an assault bike in the gym? Is that like I don't think good? we need one, but like, yeah. bro, the assault bike. We should I've be never doing been that. as tired. I've been, the most tired I've been in my life was on the assault bike. I've like, been more tired in in a match. I think yeah, I've, been, I've been substantially tired, like wrestling practice. Really? In, what match? In grappling match in practice. Then yeah, an assault sure. bike? Yeah, like I push. I'll push harder in a match that I feel like I need to win than an, an assault yeah. bike. Dude, I've pushed. I've never been. You, that you tired. just had. Uh, you have an inexperience in, in the assault bike. Yeah, have I mean, was, was it your all? first time? 
Uh, I mean, I just recently started doing it this year, but it's like, uh, dude, only, you only done it once. Remember, no, it remember times. in Puerto Rico when we would kill ourselves on that shit, and you and Nikki were salt bike. Did everything. We did it all. Oh yeah. And know. you were like, oh, 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 oh. that's what you would say. I. That's literally it. Bro, you're, you're not pushing your, you're, once. Not, you're not pushing yourself harder my, my on God. an assault bike than in a competition. You're pacing yourself in a competition. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's what I just said. You got two minutes left. You got two minutes left. Yeah, but you're not going against full resistance the entire two minutes. The, if like, that, so if that guy's right? pressuring back into you, you got to give him a left. Yeah, you're right. fighting a person. They're yeah. they're gonna go. Yeah, but they, but there there are when you g crap out on the assault bike. That's it. I you crap out. But when you crap out versus a person, there is no. You're gonna get fucked up. So you still have well, to fight. The thing is, like when when you've crapped out, where you have no more energy. I've left. put it all. Yeah, my forearms are blasted, legs burning, lungs on fire, and you still have to go. Like, you, and it's not just a four minute thing. It's like there's sometimes I like think that's six a, minutes that's a left. Four way to go about the fight. Sometimes there's tough guys. <laughs> I can't. They're pushing the pace. I have to answer back, or I'm gonna get fucked up. I think Sometimes the, the you know, I think why the assault bike is so hard be is because there is no resistance well, to it. You no, there, are yeah, the you only just, resistance. What do you? No, no, no. There's no. You max out like you can't. Like there's slow not down. there's nothing really pushing. Not too much pushing back, and you are constantly in control. Like the faster you go, the faster. The, the harder it gets. So you just gas pedal all the way down, right? What's going on here? Uh, no, my manager messaged me. I thought it was gonna be something about a fight. You have a manager. Iridium agency. Uh, that's what he calls Iridium. his mom. Yeah, <laughs> my manager. Mom. Mama. Uh, <laughs> that's what you say. Why do you say that? Uh, I say when milk. I'm smothering people. Oh my god. Mama. I was give, giving my milk to Gundo today. <laughs> Gundo. My milk to Gundo. Yeah. He is underratedly funny, man. This yeah. guy. He's yeah. so <laughs> quiet. Yeah. Pop a cap in your yeah, bitch dude. ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real life Shaggy. We got some characters yeah. in the gym. We do. We do. Pretty we fun. do. We do. Who else? Who, who else? You. Big character. <laughs> big physically. Who, who else is it? Uh, Craig's character. been gone for a while. Holy guacamole. He ain't going yeah. back for a while. He's gone. <laughs> the fucking gym culture hasn't been better. Yes, hasn't it's a healthy better. environment. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we definitely have fun. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. We're doing this event in uh, Kazakhstan. Am I doing that? I'm not doing it. No? All I right. mean, I'll. It, the money's not worth it, I what think. What is it? It's a team event in Kazakhstan, uh, Almaty, Kazakhstan, where it's B team versus Khabib Nurmagomedov's team. Khabib's on the team? No, that oh, would be oh, insane. Oh. I was going to say, I'm in there. I'm in 200 pound Khabib. That would be I fucking would. Crazy. crazy. That'd be so sick. Yeah. But that's, he's probably really good. Like, I. Bet Khabib, that's, I bet Khabib's good, yeah. I, I think he still, he still grapples there. For sure. Yeah, he yeah, still trains. He says, yeah. You don't think you can sub him? I think I believe in myself to talking. be able to sub him. It would not be so straight on, not be like an easy sub. It's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fucking. He's two hundred pounds. Yeah, two hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. Like he's, he, and he's, he's very and good. Good. Yeah. 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 I bet you his whole thing. But I don't think they have leg locks there. I bet you his cardio is pretty good too at two hundred. I, I would know. say I it's know. still. I think still he's good, probably yeah. just got a dog in him either way. Oh, yeah. Bro, my, in Chihuahua. college, my uh, my wrestling coach, right? He like. He would train with us here and there, but I remember there was a point where he missed, like he didn't train for a few weeks, and then he gets on the mat, which is like, you shouldn't have any cardio after you train for a few weeks. And he would like, he just did the full practice every single round, just just the mentality of not stopping, like being tired doesn't matter. I was I really learned that from him. I was like, fuck, dude, you could just, if you got Never it in you, you, just keep going, bro. Dude, yeah. um, I wish Khabib did ADCC. I really wonder how he would do. If you got some you leg locks, well. I bet you do really good. Dude, it's a good rule. Yeah, you're, you're saying like the leg locks, but like. Uh, it's going to be actually, hard to enter. It's going to be hard to enter. Yeah, it's, it's going to be hard to enter. He's, he's going to be sprawling, sprawling you out. Sprawl the hips passes from half guard. He's made grappling work in MMA, which is like. Uh, yeah, like you are you don't have to make grappling work in grappling. You're only <laughs> grappling. You know what I mean? Like. What? It, is yeah. what I'm saying make any sense here? <laughs> like, he is a grappler. Yeah. In in and MMA, it's like an uphill battle to actually force the guy to do yeah. the exchanges. Where if the guy just wants to stand up and get away. But in a jiu-jitsu match, you don't have to force the guy as much as in an MMA fight. Like if they just stand up, you're wrestling still, so there's no escaping it. Like, I don't know if that I makes get, sense. Is that? I, I, guess, I, I, I guess. Those were definitely words that were coming. They yeah, were. Yeah. They were. Was it a point? I don't know. Anyway, I think it'll be a tough match. No. Okay, circling back, he's the coach. We got a team together. 
91 plus kg, 99 minus, all the way down to 60 kg, under 60 kg. So it's seven guys spread out across that weight categories, those weight Who's categories. Guys? We A 60 kg guy, we don't know who yet. Uh, next one is like 65, so 145 pounds, maybe maybe Frankie. Is it EBI style 60, where you guys like... Yeah. No, uh, wait, EBI? No, 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 it's not uh, quintet style, it's dual. So like dual. weight class for first weight class, and they're, they're, I think there's like a tiered system, so like a points win is something, like yeah. one point and a sub is two points, something like that. I don't think mm. we do well. You don't think so? Not right now. I think got a good wrestling for sure. I think Khabib's, we do great. Khabib's, Khabib's guys are probably seasoned mm-hmm. guys, and they have good grapplers. What, all what, like lemon pepper? Yeah, lemon yeah. pepper. Yeah. Lemon pepper. Um, like, uh, f- they have good mm. smaller guys up through. They like, probably have a guys. lot of they, a lot, lot of. Yeah, I bet you Roman could, yeah. could, could do some damage, get to some people's He's back. got no passport. Huh? He got no passport. Fuck. Passport. I get a passport. Get a passport. He could do a couple. couple well, weeks. the thing is, is like I know he got a passport, but um. I don't know but, uh, if I trust his uh, responsibility levels to get a uh, pass. <laughs> when are you guys going to do a wrestling match with, with those guys? Jo- uh, Josh oh, yeah. and Roman? And and Josh? I, I did. You two guys? I did a, uh, a match already. I think it's up to Ethan now. All right. That's yeah. me next. J Dog, no. Like, that's. J Dog What am I going to do with that guy wrestling? Good. I mean, yeah. he's literally he, he a, rest, a D1 wrestler. Huh? He takes you down, like, pretty often. I or? can. He'll definitely take me down, but I can, like, scramble to his back. Can you take him down? One out of. I, I can never take him score, down. Besides wrestle I can't up. shoot. You can score off of his I can't, Yeah, I can't yeah. shoot okay, and, yeah. like, initiate and take him down, follow through. But some, t- like, one out of three, one out of four, maybe. You should try wrestling from, from your knees a little bit. I tried. That's the only. Well, well I think wrestle ups is, is different. Like trying on the I, feet is like yeah, the real skill. To honestly, wrestle ups are also really hard on him. He's good at just he just shucks he's it, so shuts it down. Good. He's yeah. got that snappy fucking. Yeah, he's still he's still a fucking wrestler. He's yeah, yeah, still yeah. a wrestler. Good. You know? Dude, don't be. He'll get fucking. How's good. his leg locks? Is it's, 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 it's getting better? It's getting better. He's it's, getting he, better. He got like subs. Getting out before yeah. there's. He should a do more. To, he should do yeah. more engagements with them. Yeah, like mandatory leg lock rounds. Yeah, I forgot. He actually had asked me. We haven't done them, but um. I think he should. I think there's a few guys in the gym that have a really good, just fundamental base, and I think they should just be doing pure leg lock positional yeah. rounds. Like I think J Dog's one of those. I think Roman's a good one too. Roman. Roman has a good. Uh, like, Heisem. Heisem's good. Heisem's another one he's too. He's hard yeah. to hold on to and shit. But like you get guys like Luke Griffith, guys at the bigger weight class who are leg lockers. It's hard to just do his style versus a guy who's really just trying to leg lock you. Like that's. It's a go-to yeah. way to win. We need, a, we need, you know, we need better lev- level leg like, lockers. I think it's with some of these guys. Um, you know what's interesting? That wrestlers bring in. We're talking about this. I don't know if it was on this or something, but like, you guys, for example, you came from wrestling where you, you fake. What did you just do? I just fucking shook my head. Okay, I <laughs> just twitched. Like no, <laughs> fucking. Anyway, you come from wrestling oh. where you. You fake in wrestling. Do you fake in jujitsu? Do you fake? What do you mean fake? You know, in wrestling, when you fake a shot. Yeah, you sh- fake or faint? Faint. I mean, fake. F- throwing a fake. A fake. Whatever. Well, you well, know what I mean. Fake, fake shots. Fake. Semantics. Yeah. Faint. Fake no, fake. Different. We say fakes. I say. Fa- we say faint. Snap Who dragging. gives a shit? Snap dragging okay. fainting. Regardless. 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 We faint in okay. jujitsu. We faint shots. No, that's Wait, wrestling. I'm throwing a fake shot. Fake Who's here. Fainting? Go there. Well, yeah, when we're guard passing, you, you jab step to one side. That's but a faint. you're, is that like. It's a faint. Okay, I would say you faint a lot more in wrestling. So you're yes, more yeah. jolty. Yes. So you guys bring that into jujitsu moves. You do like more of that, like jolty. So circling back to like Josh, like J Dog, he'll have that like joltiness mm-hmm. to any move that he does. Like yeah. as you're trying to get to his back, you like explodes and in that explosion he'll like fake and go the other way which is like I think that un- actually it's you're right. un uh unorthodox a very unorthodox yeah. way so to compared move to us, compared, compared to, to us yeah. yeah we don't it's not an orthodox move it's an unorthodox like entire way that he so like moves. yeah say we're like yeah. rear body lock or something like crazy. maybe maybe we just look for a Gramby but he's looking for sit outs Gramby switch and like he combines like, them and like, like fakes yeah it's it's yeah. I wish I had that that's why I wish I could go back in time yeah. A drill we used to do at uh, at Seagulls uh, Seagulls Wrestling Club is, yeah, it was like our wrestling club during the off season, and um, yes, that's our symbol. That, that's oh. that's what it is. You guys walk. Yeah. That's what you guys they did. We were hard. <laughs> like the uh, always you know, hard. dodgeball. Always hard. Yeah. Dodgeball. Um, yeah. You have so, to, uh, you have to pee like again. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm grabbing my uh, uh, my gun bag. 
Why? Worried. What are you worried about? <laughs> um, All yeah, right. So there's a drill that pretty much uh, we'd go uh, referee's position, and the bottom guy would have to pick three moves in order to get out. So like it would be like stand up, uh, he puts you back down, sit out, Granby, but like a bunch of different variations, and you got used to like chaining things together. Yeah. So many people that. just do one. So move. it's like an 80 20 percent style thing. Yeah. 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 Not, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting, guys. I really thought we were gonna have five ADCC medals last ADCC. Me too. I'm not gonna lie. I thought every weight class was gonna win, and that's it. Well, well, <laughs> no, we'll try it again. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, you're gonna do 77 the next year. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Like I think, like you're significantly less fat than when you left. You um, seen this face? Am I crazy? Or uh, you, I think uh, you see it. Um, I mean, yeah, I tra- trained. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you trained a little bit. There. But you were really fat when you left. So I was. Not I was. Much. I was I like. It's 90. not a hard. Bark. I was. I was like ninety five. Yeah. One, one day or one ninety five. No, one ninety five. Wow. But yeah, we. You guys uh, have matches coming up. Matches, like super fights. I what happened? Uh, yeah, no. What? No. I was talking to Grapple Fest this year when you're on. Yeah, yeah. But I think it'd be cool uh, if you came out. It's just Grapple Fest kind of yeah, pays like shit. What date? What date? July first. I'm literally doing my my Muay Thai. Event and then just gonna fly straight to the UK from really back from there, wow. yeah, 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 just Dude, fucking nine hours. You don't think that's too much? You don't think you need I think, little, I, think it's, I think it's too much, but I think I, I want to fight him and I want to get money in the, in Europe. I've never been to Europe yet, so I do a little Europe it's tour. Crazy, you beat never this guy been to Europe. What Fuck it, I beat him before. He's an ADCC silver medalist. It's yeah, like, yeah, I, it's I feel like I'd be yeah, stupid to say no, like, yeah. I want to fucking fight him. He's supposed to win anyway, so it's like, I feel yeah, like it's a win win for you, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, like, I didn't. I didn't win trial, so yeah. it's like I should. I should Where theoretically is it? lose to him. Liverpool. Ooh, yeah, it's shit. It's shit. No, it's not shit. It's just a journey. <laughs> it's just quite, ugh, quite yeah, a mission. I don't know. Um, Whatever, bro. Yeah, fish I'll go. Chips. I'll fucking do some do some uh, uh, seminars out there. I have like a, a few schools lined up. So you'll be gone for like what three weeks, something like that. I have no idea. I fucking don't want to think about planning it yet. I was maybe going to have an event, uh, I mean a match, the same one, same event you were on in May in like uh, on Flow in Ohio or something, but it didn't, I was still lung issues yeah, you were fucked and up. all that shit, Dude, uh, but I'm oh, trying, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, so, I'm trying to get one. I don't know when yet. But. Did they Did they replace that? I don't really know. Uh-huh. It's weird. It's on a Thursday. It's in a, on a Thursday in the middle of nowhere. I don't understand, like, and there's no... Like, dude, it's three weeks away. Like, there's been no uh, no, no announcement no pro- about. Yeah, what's like, up with so with you? They didn't get understand. you. They they're gonna they're gonna throw the card. Yeah, did I feel they, like they're gonna they, scrap the card because yeah. it was gonna be you headlining, right? Uh, yeah, probably. And, uh, who, who they didn't give you any any second names? No, no replacements. And yeah, they're throwing I the get, card. I gave them a list. Though. I feel like they're scrapping. They're the card, what? Right? I said I gave them a list. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gave them a list as well. Checking it twice. Fucking hopefully. One in uh, June, June twenty fifth, I believe. That's the but, WNL. Yeah, in against. Dallas, yeah. Don't know, but again, I gave a list. They, they, they fucking these see. suckers didn't ask me. You got Grapple Fest. That's that's good. That's easier. You're booked. You're WNL set. is way better than Grapple Fest. It's better, yeah. but no it's offense, like Grapple Fest, it's not but... better if you don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> <laughs> sure. Fair like if it, if it doesn't happen though, and it's WNL is just a big card. It's right here. It's fucking. Right here, yeah. It's uh, super convenient. So convenient. Remember when they were in Austin? They offered me uh, PJ Barch, but WNL. Oh no, Grapple um, Fest. Grapple Fest. Yeah, but it's like two grand. I was like, dude. No. Yeah. Not shit. Hours. Shit, shit. Is it but worth is PJ it? Barsh. Is it? Is he a medalist? I took think fourth. he took fourth. Yeah. Took so fourth he's getting. He's, you wanna you wanna negotiate that for an invite that when you good. gotta do this stuff? When, you know. When, uh, when is it? It's like July first. Two, three months. Yeah. Yeah. July first. That's the thing. It's like, dude. That. I think if I fucking beat me, if I beat Gabe Souza, do I, do I not have some type you of have merit? merit? To say yeah. That, like, any any time you're gonna beat a medalist between now and before trials, there's something there. But it's like, is it? I don't know. It's Did, not sure fired, but it's like, man, it's a good. There's an argument. Yeah. There's an argument. There's an argument. Yeah. If I fucking go out and sub a ADCC silver medalist, then I belong there. Yeah. So it's like, I would much rather just do that than not than do trials. <laughs> we need I. to toss what? a simple man patch on your uh, gear. Yeah, let's oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, just not pay me. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Payment is hanging out with us. Fuck. Payment enough. Dude, I I took Adderall recently, bro. It <laughs> fucked me up. So Why? I was traveling to Virginia, 
and I decided that I was going to bang out my, um, my, my instructional, uh, you know, just going to plan out everything. So on I was like, computer? on the on computer. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm traveling. Yeah. Exactly. I was, just, I'll fucking take an Adderall and then stay focused. I'll do the whole thing. So I take the Adderall, like maybe like 10 AM, 9 AM, like on Friday. And I do great. Like, like I think the instructional is great. Like I was analyzing video. Thanks I, to the Adderall. You were like on, you were like supercharged. Well, I was brain just, I was just like, I was super into the, the instructional actually. Like usually I feel like give me like one or two hours. I'll be good. And then at the end, I'm like kind of fucking tired already. Yeah. I want to just transition. Like, wow, this is great stuff. This guy's so There's smart. just nothing. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I was doing this for like hours. Right. And then, um, I couldn't go to bed until fucking 8 a.m. the next morning. Wow. 8 yeah. a.m. 8 a.m. And the thing is, I had a seminar at noon. Did you I had another? To, no. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking fell asleep at 8. Worked. I woke. I had to wake up like 10, 30, 11 to get there. I do this two to three hour seminar. Were you fucked I up? I train after. Bro, well, not really, but I know that it wasn't good for me. Like, Yeah, definitely. Like, it was, I kind of felt like a crackhead a little bit. Like, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, but, they're salts. Yeah, I'm uh, never doing Adderall, it again. It's like a, a compression of like four different amphetamine salts really? yeah and they know. it's like one that. well actually i don't know any more of that i'm just gonna stop there before i dude i do cool. bullshit but. i mean in college like it was like kind of not that common actually it is pretty common to have to take out all in college but like i've taken it a couple times like whether i had to study like do do some some all-nighters or whatever yeah. or i had to bang out a paper or whatever so it was common and i just like did it in college and then i haven't taken it since and i was like oh maybe there's a good time to fucking do it yeah. and then I Fuck am just like that. hypersensitive. I could not sleep, and I was like, "I'm never doing this again." That's what if you took it yeah. at like five a.m.? I don't think it really makes a difference, man. I took it at fucking nine a.m., ten a.m., and you couldn't sleep till eight a.m. Eight a.m. So what? I go to bed at four. Five. So when you were trying to sleep, you were just like, "I was just." They kill your appetite. Wired. Um, a little bit, but I I still ate. Like I wasn't that hungry, but like I still want. I mean, when I, sure whenever I, I took it, I I will I could not eat all day and it'd be fine. Yeah, I mean you wouldn't be hungry. Yeah, like I wasn't hungry, but I was like, oh, I should eat. Type of thing. Fuck yeah, that shit. That's crazy yeah. how addicted. So many people such are on it. Enorm- yes, yeah, so many people are. I know on a it. lot yeah. of people that are on Spe- it. Specifically, college people or like business. Well, just just uh, uh, yeah, I professionals in, in general. Industry, professionals so, yeah. in general. Yeah, like yeah, professional. I know. I would tr- I would want to try it. I would want to see well, like when I don't have anything the next day. I would want to like see what how it affects me. Well, you, you, no, like nah, you don't just fuck like that. you do it and try to no, do some work. Never try it. Do it and do some work. You're gonna be surprised how I'll try fucking... and do it as early in the day as possible. Make sure I'm training, so I'm like kind of. Well, you're tired. not supposed to train like well, when I... you're on. It's bad for your heart. Any type of real like heavy stimulant like that's not really good for you. What you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Your heart? Why? You what does can. it do? What's, what's uh, it's that? just putting stress on your heart because it's a stimulant. I feel like a amphetamine would make your um, make you PR or something. Um, you, I mean, like personal record. record. You do meth yeah, like, he, right before fucking. Yeah, you do meth right before. Um, well, it's not meth. It's an amphetamine, but it's not a. It's not meth amphetamine. It's, not, it's uh, different. Adderall apparently. amphetamine. Close enough. Yeah, I don't know. It's not yeah. really good for <laughs> your heart. Yeah, it's just I'm open. sure. It's like. Or it yeah. doesn't push your heart in like a heart workout kind of way. And it's just getting stronger. Yeah. Or scarred. Making it bigger. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it bigger. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of professionals All right, maybe that I won't do try it. it. I mean, but the thing is, there's a, there's a big... Jeez. So many Buzz people kill. are on prescription medicine, like <laughs> medications. So many people are on fucking Adderall. So many people are on Xanax, uh, opiates. Xanax. Like do you, opiate ever, do you ever try Xanax? No. What does that do? I tried one, a half a bar on... Uh, I was going to London. I was on a flight... And it's like traveling through time. Like it just deleted four hours of, the, well, more. It deleted like six hours of the flight. Oh, wow. Just sleep. Like I blinked and I was like, oh, that was a refreshing nap. Jeez. And I look and we're like, the, the plane is landing in uh, 30 minutes. Please. Fast There's a huge thought. Did you like Xanax go to the like, UP or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like I heard, I hear stories of like you doing something you not remember. Could be. Who fucking knows? I'll never know. But like, That's... it would deleted the memory. So it was like I. It was like a two hour flight. Wow. It was great. I think I think I got prescribed something for my knee when I had uh, meniscus surgery. Oh, probably painkillers. Um, it was definitely a painkiller. I was fucking going through it, and it was like this super small pill. Green. I I don't remember. It, it might start with a P or something. Um, Percocet. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Uh, Dilaudid. And 
Started my, with a P. Maybe he's wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oxycodone. Um, <laughs> that was the same shit. And my mom <laughs> would like cut it in half and give me half of the small pill. And she took yeah. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I would fucking take it and just. I was oh, yeah. Out. I thought you didn't take it. I mean, I it, I was in excru- excruciating pain. pain. Yeah. Like, bro, it was Nikki's, fucking... Nikki's, do you guys hear about Nikki's uh, thing? No. Oh, what? So he oh, got, yeah, they get, I, yeah, 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 he got knee surgery, right? They prescribed him the painkiller. The painkiller was just basically like Tylenol. And he, like, the doctor's like, you know, you just take this one when you feel pain or whatever, it'll help. And for the first like two days, he was like in excruciating pain. It was like eight, eight out of 10, nine out of 10. He's like, this is so fucking horrible. And then, um, he calls a doctor to explain to them, like, dude, like, I am in so much pain. I think something's wrong. Cause they were saying, like, you know, you shouldn't feel that much pain. And then, um, turns out the doctor prescribed him the wrong painkillers. <laughs> yeah. Aww. So they gave him like a weaker painkiller and then they, they got, gave him the right one and he was like, thank fucking God. And then oh, he shit. was fine. But, uh, Bro, the first two days in. is like the main fucking. That's when you really too. need it, right? Yeah. Fuck. I had to go back in for a second surgery on my knee. Yeah. I never told you. You were like, Fucking, you had to get it drained or something, right? Yeah, I uh, had the first, so I had a quad tendon graft, and uh, the like two days after the first surgery, I I felt fine. I was like, oh, this is great, and the physio said like, oh, if you're what feeling he all right, saying? like feeling all right, push it hard. You're doing yeah. like squats and shit. No, no, no not yet, not yet. <laughs> but uh, I was feeling fine. I would like, I would start walking like with like one crutch, no crutches, oh horrible idea, but it wasn't hurting. It was just like kind of swollen. And then it got more and more swollen. What happened was I was taking Dilaudid, which is like another powerful pain med, and I wasn't feeling the pain, the pain. that was in there. Oh <laughs> like, God. Wow, I'm great, I'm healing super fast. And it swelled up, I had to get it drained. And then Fuck. I got it drained and they put like a stint to keep it draining. And by then, it was like a week later, I ran out of pain meds. So they do it. I have no more pain meds. And I'm suddenly in excruciating, oh, like, quad no. tear level pain. And, uh, yeah, I got it taken prescribe back. more? Well, it, was, it started hurting within, like, one morning. Like, they drained it. Oh, and then I get shit. back home. And it, like, I, it's kind of started hurting. Maybe so I you took... would have been feeling that pain the whole time if you weren't taking Yes. Damn, yeah, that's that's and I would have been staying in in the fucking bed like I should have. So did was there a lot of maybe had a, we had a quad yeah. issue. Oh my god, you had an issue with your quad as well. No, no, they so my ACL tore, mm-hmm. and they took a piece of my quad tendon like from where the scar is. Yeah, and they like it's insane. They drilled holes through my shin and femur, I guess, and like pull the quad it. tendon yeah through to make a new ACL basically like where the old one is supposed to be. And uh, the quad where they took the thing from, that started like tearing like this because I was on pain meds and didn't feel pain. And the physio was like, oh, yeah, walk on it. It's a good time to like wow. start to get your knee back into the fucking, you know, walking movements. And shit. So, so rehab way too early. Way too early. Yeah. And then wow. the second surgery. You should sue that guy. That's crazy. Uh, he should know exactly. <laughs> they definitely. the doc, Yeah. The doc, the surgeon was like, give me who you <laughs> sent, who the physio was who uh, gave you this thing. Cause they gave me like a, I had in text like, Oh, start walking. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty that's, sure. That's did, fun. did uh, yeah, but... your bicep tear like that have pain? Haven't felt pain. Haven't cried oh my God. in a year. No. Uh, <laughs> when have you cried? Um, honestly. So if, let's go back to the bicep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I bicep I don't talk tear. About that. <laughs> yeah. So I was like mid, I was like in wrestling practice and when it tore, it just went from a completely useful and super strong left arm super to just strong, just, just completely useless. I like wow. even to pick it up, I had to like use my my other hand. It was, it was. Pretty but did intense. it hurt? Did it hurt? Um, it would hurt like if if I tried to move my arm and if I tried to flex the bicep, that would cause me like a, a tingling, like a sensation. You know what I mean? Maybe more of a tickle. It wasn't than pain. Else. It wasn't pain though. No. Um, yeah, but would, I wouldn't. Would like. Tears ever come out of a part of your body? I mean, sorry. Would water ever come out of a part of your body? Like, I mean, I've sweated before. You sweat, sweat out of through your, your eyes, eyes ever? I probably sweat through my eyes every every practice, every training session. I sweat. But like, ever out of like like an intense sadness reaction? <laughs> <laughs> would you ever sweat out of the the like inner corner of your well, eyeball? If you're talking about sadness, sadness is, is an emotion. Emotions are weakness. So I would have to say no. Okay. Jay, when's the last time you cried? 
yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. No. Um, a few days ago. Really? Really? Yeah. Why? Why? What happened? I broke up with my girlfriend. Oh, oh you did oh, cry. Man. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Did you tell? Yes, did I you did. say you did today? Because I asked I, you. Oh, that. I was fucking around. I was like, oh, I did. I uh, said that like just early. Yeah, you're like, you're going to get more pussy. And I'm like, don't you have a girlfriend? <laughs> 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 He's like, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. man. That's right. I'm huh? sorry. Yeah, it's okay. The, How you the feel girlfriend with... breakup. That's all right. Explain why. Can you, or are you down? Uh, it's just call, difficult. Right? Just, Whatever. Just long distance. Yeah, it's distance. That's tough. The best. Yeah. It is that's rough. rough. That's rough. Well, well, when you hear that, that's <laughs> uh, <laughs> his DM. J Rod, single, single. Have you seen this? People are putting a pair in their Instagram to say they're single. Oh, I didn't no. know that. Well, you, know, you, you heard know the, it here first. You know the pineapple. What's the pineapple? Like the mean? upside down pineapple. Means upside down pineapple. I, I know. Uh, you I think do. upside down pineapple means you're uh, not. I'm saying. How do you get it upside emoji. down? I'm just saying, like. Oh. Um, you just like when up. couples are shopping and they have like pineapple in their cart, but it's upside down. Are they swingers? I think yeah. Whatever a swinger means. What's a swinger? It means a swinger. That, yeah, yeah. It means yeah. they're. What's Jim's like that's definitely what we do. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's a swinger? Uh, it's when Swing, couples are down like, to like uh, fuck other couples. Wow. Jim's like, yep, it's up, it's pineapple. Wow. It's pineapple. <laughs> yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. Yeah, well, that's what that means. Good. The upside down pineapple. I did not I know think that. Some I didn't people, know that. I think I've seen people like buy clothes with pineapples on them. I don't fucking know. And they're upside down. I had pineapple. They just do handstands. I had like swimming trunks a long time ago uh, that had pineapples on them, and now I you can't. Want I them? can't. I it's like them. I don't uh, like. I respect like monogamy. <laughs> this is an unbelievable. But yeah, the pair. Of the hey, fucking... question: What do you guys think? I know. Um, what do you guys think about Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate's version or Andrew's view? Tate. Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah. Andrew Tate's view on kind of women and what uh, is his view? You, so basically, he has this this idea that um that women yes. should only be banging him, but he can be banging uh, like multiple multiple women, oh, like, and uh, that's because he's the top G and he's a high value that. man. Him and this some other dude, Myron, is basically saying the same shit on Myron, YouTube. Myron, bro. I don't know, Myron. I don't know. I know Sneak. I kind of just think they're dorks now, to be honest. Like, yeah. like, 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 granted, uh, obviously, fucking super, super rich, super, super wealthy, like, great lifestyle, whatever. Yeah. But it's like, I feel like that view is kind of like. What are you going to do know. with, uh, you want kids? You're going to, like, fuck Well, he has or... kids. I mean, I don't know. I is don't he, think, is he a uh, dad, though? Yeah, it's I don't think he's a, a father. Probably a pretty shitty. Well, the dad. thing, is, what, what I, I kind of, right? what I think is like, kids are gonna be I, fucked up. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I feel possibly. like that view is, um, it's kind of like a childish way to go about life. I think. Even yeah, I don't like, think it's all right, realistic. how about if you're talking like uh, the king and queen of England, right? Like even the old. Let's. What, do we know any names that were like you know? Queen Elizabeth just died. Prince I don't know. Charles. All right. I don't do, you, know. do you think he was only banging the queen? No, no. Is that but, is that because of their status in life? Well, I mean, I think they just Here do. Here we what they, are again. I I think they do what, what uh, they want to do, but I I don't think um. He thinks he's better than everyone. <laughs> right. well, well, yeah, I, I think I think they they do what they want to do, but I think like that's like, I think part of becoming, like, a man in an, in a, in a sense is like trying to. I don't know. Is it like, conquer? All right, look, look you're gonna um, you're gonna impregnate a girl one day. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be your wife, mm -hmm. ideally. Mm -hmm. And Andrew Tate is gonna do the same thing. Now that mother is gonna have kids, and he's gonna go and fuck other women. So he is probably not going to put the same care into raising the kids that you will. Meaning, your kids will probably do better in life i kind of think that considering you know he has a shitload of money of course but eventually that's gonna not have as much of an effect on wh how, like how the kids are gonna engage with the world kids don't care so, about money they care about your attention yeah exactly like, like so, unless you're like so broke you can't feed them yeah. which is not gonna be the case yeah. you're there's a line where you like food shelter or whatever sure. then it's just like what are they cherry on tops basically but it's like i yeah, feel like i, I kind of feel like life cycle like we're all going through lessons in life and i think one of those lessons 
is becoming like it is caring about something that's not your own life so like we're very mm-hmm. selfish in our in our progression with jiu-jitsu and our careers and stuff like that but i think part of our life cycle requires us to try to give care and nurture to this next generation yeah. type of thing and like that becomes the new goal i think and i yeah. think that's like part of the life cycle i think that's part of becoming a man in in, in a sense versus yeah. i don't think a man is really like you're a man because you bang all these fucking chicks, and you know all yeah, these chicks yeah, yeah. can only bang. Yeah. Look, Andrew Tate's right. gonna have a great time. Yeah, yeah. Don't get okay. me wrong. I think it's like gonna have a great time. Gonna bang a lot of chicks, but like, fuck. Probably die alone. Probably die alone. And your kids are probably not gonna give a flying fuck. Why about would they? You. Yeah. It's like, all right, yeah. My dad's Andrew Tate. You know, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's he cool. wasn't there for me. Eventually, yeah. that shit. Like he didn't go to my wrestling meets. He didn't go to my fucking yeah. my football game. He didn't teach me how to ride a bike. He didn't teach yeah, me how to a fucking lot do of this. Stuff. Like, Meanwhile, your kids are like flying through life. They got they understand like relationships. They're not gonna fuck up their kids. They're gonna be like, you know, down the line. I think that's gonna matter more. And yeah, I think he, as you as you grow up, that what he got locked up. For like three or four months. Yeah. One like, just like uh, nothing was like uh, proven. Proven. Nothing yeah, was no proven. real evidence. Yeah. Roma- Romanian law was like very different. Like they um they were able to imprison him without like real evidence. That's but it's crazy. like they, it was like up to 180 days. But I think he got out like you know a month or two I, earlier. He was talking shit like he had his own army or something. How are you gonna get? How you I feel get like he's up? a crazy person. He's just yeah. well, I think really he, I think vocal. He's, well, I think he uh, man, if you hear the way he talks about his dad, I think. I there you go. His dad probably the same thing, and now well, well, well like he said that like his dad sacrificed his marriage to help the kids in the sense that like like um he huh? divorced his like wife or he divorced his mom to show Andrew and Tristan you know that the man shouldn't have to deal with this stuff from their woman and it's like well oh, he very definitely weird. sent them in the direction that he wanted to yeah. send them <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I don't know. Wow. You know? And he shit. was like, the enemies are out to get me. And like, I don't know. It's the like whole thing is fucking schizophrenia, kind of maybe. Weird, man. A bit. To me, to me, it's kind of weird. I think, I think there are some truths to what he says. Like, you know, I think uh, accountability or hard work and shit like that. You know, I, th- I do think a lot of people are probably mental, mental pussies. But I, th- it's like, I think a lot of people take that type of stuff. Um, and that, that's why everyone, no, that, but uh, just like the kind of motivational stuff that, that he p- puts out um, and just being like, just being like uh like an alpha male uh like that's what people what that's what the guys like yeah but so his version of alpha male i honestly don't agree with it's not i don't agree with everything he says but there's certain things that a lot of kids need nowadays like a lot of people don't have like a male to look up to nowadays yeah. I, I but i i do agree with that i i would i would honestly say though like so his version of alpha male is like all right you have a lot of women. Those you you protect those women, right? Like so, he's like yeah. he sees them as a protector or whatever. But you're able to do whatever you want, and they're only loyal to you. Yeah, and like that's his. He says it like, like you know a haram. A well, haram. Yeah, the, the Bible says that like you know everyone has multiple wives or whatever. The Quran says you know everyone has multiple wives, so like you should do the same thing type of thing. But I honestly think like a true alpha is someone that is like providing for their family. They're there for their kids. Yeah. They're there for their wives. Like not only like financially but fort. emotionally. You put it all in like, one thing. Like you're the head you know? of the household. Like that's yeah. in my opinion, I think that's an alpha. Head of the yeah, team. for sure. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. like the family is a team and you're, you're going through be life spread together. Too thin. That's, yeah, there's I, no you gotta you gotta micromanage your own hut and that's the way to do it. Yeah, my I I, th- I I'd have to agree. I think that yeah, for sure. But did you hear how he um how he built his like kind of empire like Hustle, Hustlers University? It's honestly genius. Hustlers. Tell me, tell me oh oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I you know well, I know already too. I'll I'll tell you this. <laughs> okay. And tell me if I'm or if I'm I, I could anything. be wrong. Okay. Go ahead. Um, he was. Wait, he was uh how he built his fucking his Hustlers, Hustlers, Hustlers University. Hustlers. So what is that? Uh, it's like uh, like an online fucking school, basically, yeah. on Discord, I think. I don't know where it is. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, it has, like, all these different fucking ways for people to learn how to make money um, online. Um, or just, just lessons online. Um, and uh, the people that were buying, uh, buying this, like, they would get into, like – they would get in, and then I think they got like a discount, or they got like a percentage of of something. So yeah, you, you're on the right advertising track. Advertising on TikTok and so, his stuff on TikTok. So have you ever hear hear him say like he was like I'm the the most yes. popular yes. like yeah. man on TikTok or whatever? Was, like, he said that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, he kind of like 
in a sense, is like he just kind of blew up out of nowhere, to be honest. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And so I he, had not heard about him, and now I so hear about Hustlers online, University yeah. is apparently like this online educational platform that teaches you how to make money with stocks or crypto or Does business. It really, though, or is I have just, no idea okay, the actual no. structure behind that. Right. right. But anyways, you sign up for this. And then you can also become an affiliate where you create social media platforms that that you you then all you have to do is post viral videos about Andrew Tate. Yeah. You link Hustlers University and anybody that signs up, which is like forty nine bucks a month or whatever, anybody that signs up through theirs or through your discount what, through what you posted or yes. through your discount link yeah through your link whatever okay. you get 50 percent of that so then it's, like you have like a pyramid had, scheme yes. in a sense yeah he has yeah. Oh, he has like hundreds of thousands of people students. marketing for him basically. Yes. exactly Just sharing exactly. his stuff and but they it's get like, a cut of the guy above a guy above a guy above. it's a it's a smart way well um i don't know if it's above like that but well if like, i share a link and then this guy does it can't he no, no, then so share their own no i don't so, think it's like no no so it's like if he signs up whatever you get 50 percent. but that person can also Join their his, own he can start link. his own link yes. where other people get they sign up through their link, but you don't get a percentage of those. Yeah. What do they get out of this? They get money. Well, they get paid for the, from the month, monthly. Is it that much money? Well, it's like twenty five I mean, bucks, and you fucking have you know a hundred thousand TikTok followers. I don't know, uh, and you monetize it in another your, way. Your TikTok should get like millions that. of views. Okay. Yeah, you get a lot of views. I don't know. It's something like that, but it's like you have a right. hundred thousand fucking two hundred thousand subscribers that are now posting your viral Andrew Tate videos. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he was saying that he was like, I was the most viral man on TikTok without having a TikTok. Yeah. Cause he didn't have a TikTok account mm. and he got, he did that through this marketing. Very scheme. savvy. I was, like, I was like, that's a smart way to yeah. go about it to be honest. Yeah. yeah. B team is a lot like they're Andrew I, Tate. Well, no, like it's, uh, Craig is really good at getting people to market his stuff for him. So like this, uh, oh, the, the banana hammock thing. Yeah, He's like, we're doing a contest. Whoever does that, blah, blah, blah. And now, like, there's everyone just making a ridiculous video marketing a product. Yes. That's fucking smart. Yeah. That's I like, I think we'll buy that. I agree. But buy it. But first, buy it. Yes. Buy the mugs. <laughs> buy the <laughs> mug. Yes. Those are cool. All right. Well, yeah. we'll we're done, though. Yeah. yeah. There's a long one. Yeah. Well, how long are we going? 220. What? Yeah. God damn! Fuck, man. Man. It flew, huh? This is too long. We gotta cut these shorter. Should we stop no, it? No. People like them. No, right. they, oh, we yeah? have good comments saying yeah. they like, yeah. they like the longer that's platform. Good. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's okay. more fucking. Yeah. I think it just means we're getting better at podcasting. Okay. Because it, it was kind of hard stretching the, the hour. Or now we before. like we have to stop. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I keep, I'm scared. I keep turning this off. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the Simple Man Podcast. I'm Damien. Nikki Rod, Ethan Krellenston, and J Rod. And Thank you've you been simplified. Peace. Jesus. I can't believe we fucking did two, two hours. Wow. Yeah.